Thank you for the good luck, Wubsy. Hope you're doing well. And the go-to guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I got gifted subs when I completed the challenge. Uh... Yeah, zero gifted five subs, if I remember correctly. Um... No way, one of the names on you was Colin Walter. There's no way. A head cold? What do you mean by head cold? Oh yeah, I forgot I made saves for when I was pretty early on in the challenge. It reckons it's the fucking 2nd of January 2017 when I did this. Oh yeah, hello Markiplier and Carden, by the way. Hope everyone here is fantastic. I, I, I just woke up and I was just like, why don't I just try it at least? We'll see how it goes. It might be, like, the worst idea, and then tomorrow I'll just do movie. But, like, I, I just, you know, I, I took Battle off the hard drive, put movie back on, made sure it was working. Put, ba put Battle back on my shelf, and I just wasn't gonna think. But then I woke up today, and I was just like, I really would just, why don't I just do 100%, you know? Alright, sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Um, when I'm, like, a bit ill like that, I feel like one thing that kind of helps is like, having, like, just some, like, soup or noodles or something like that, you know? It's like, yeah. Um. Okay, so, because... Yeah, so th this Subway Surface gameplay is different, by the way. I actually downloaded a different gameplay. Um, I couldn't find any temple run gameplay longer than, like, fucking 50 minutes or something. So, I couldn't find any mobile gameplay that went on for hours. It was literally two videos of Subway Surfers that went on for hours, and that was all I could find. So, this one is different from last time. Also, this, sh this shit's not flipped anymore because... Now, it's less le epic funny. So... Now it's more of a serious attempt. This is going to be different from last time, because... Even the early game, for example, there's no reason not to do JF Caves. Um... Sock, because I need it anyway. There's, I can't do art CCA, so I need to get all the artwork, which means I need to get the two socks in Museum as well. I need to do all, like, the Sand Mountain socks and slide. Like, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Crab- I I'm probably gonna do Crab's Dream, like, immediately after Industrial Park. It it's, it's not gonna be like, oh, now I just gotta do easy stuff, and then I will get to Robo Sponge. When I get Cruise Boost, it's just gonna be, like, getting the horrible shit out of the way immediately. That's all I can really do. Um... So, yeah, it'll be harder than before, basically. So let's go. Henlo Foundation, how are you on this Wednesday? Uh, I didn't even know what day it was today. I can't stay for long because I have class today. Maybe you should be streaming when I come back. I missed the shiny, where'd it go? Actually, yeah, where did I miss it? Oh. <laughs> Th thank you, uh... Oh, I know, you didn't say good luck. Well, Thank you anyway. Also, I'm doing- I'm doing alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the good luck. What's up, Lucy and Lena and Cotton? Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, I removed Meow from the thing because I just- I don't think I- it was meant to be there anyway. I swear I remember, like, it, do you remember, like, I, I kept saying, like, oh, yeah, I mean, I was definitely gonna stay, but then I put on the thing anyway. I think it was because I was rushing the wheel, and I just put on, like, every single emote. So I don't even think it was supposed to be there anyway. So... 
Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, Lucy, yeah. You are not wrong. The Subway Surfers gameplay is different, but a lot of people probably will not notice anyway. Threats work. No, I wasn't... I, I don't think it was supposed to be on there anyway. Oh yeah, I'm using an OG controller now instead of uh, a, th um, a 360 controller. So if my movement seems slightly off, then that's why. Also, now we need to worry about other random shit that I just did not need to care about before. You see that fucking sock over there? I gotta go and grab it. And my options are either doing it as Patrick or doing a very risky... Cruise boost, double jump, spin, slam, and then grabbing the sock just before I drown and pressing start so I could save like 10 hours. You know, like, I... Yeah, plenty of, uh... You know, like, patience is going to be important, probably. But it's gonna be hard to be patient if I lose a run, like, 78 spatulas in or something, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Another thing I'm going to do, by the way, is, um... Dude, I have to remember the stop buttons under the stick. One thing I'm going to do... When I have 75 spatulas, I'm going to do Robo Sponge Phase 1, but I'm not going to do Phase 2. Because I want to save Phase 2 for the very end, to make it more epic. And because in 100% runs end, like, in Robo Sponge anyway, so it just makes sense. So, yeah. Subway Surfers will not be a standard. It's just a standard for now. I should probably do funny things like that for whenever I do a sub goal and there's no timer. But the thing is, is that, again, I, co I couldn't find any long gameplay for mobile games that wasn't Subway Surfers, so... It would get too repetitive otherwise. Howdy, Sky. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. I was thinking of uh, doing the pussy way out with this. Like, thinking of doing... You know how the $25 bounty was like, you could do Hans the Sable, you could drown, you could get hit by goo? I was thinking of doing that, but I felt like it'd barely be harder than the than uh, what I was doing for the $50 bounty overall. Because I'd have some 8 spatulas, but it wouldn't be that bad. I, it would allow me to... It would let me do SBA, and it would let me do... Uh, what's it called? Um... Oh yeah, Sandy Nut. Oh no, I actually I actually wouldn't be able to do Sandy Nut, but I could skip like a lot of the slide, to save time. If I don't remember if I said this, but thank you for the good luck, Lena. Nah, they actually want you to do a last card. The manly way. Probably regret that decision in like three hours from now. But yeah, I mean, I'll keep doing this as long as people are interested. Um... So yeah, that's basically what's going on. I'm pretty sure with Movie Honda you have to end on Final Hit of Neptune. I think. I don't remember, I haven't looked at the rules in a while. Hello, careful. Well, you're here, so... I feel like you're wrong. Yeah, I tried Ice Pop after, at the end of stream yesterday. Conclusion? It's, like, about as good as the blue one. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit better. It has a bit less of a taste, but it's a bit sweeter. And it's quite nice still. So it's, like... And I like sweet, so it's, like... Yeah. I'll just say brev. So yeah, like I said, I need the JF Cave socks, so there's no reason not to do this now. So yeah, we're doing some painful shit, basically. Yeah, 
it, it was it was questioned like a while ago, but I don't. We kind of came to the conclusion that people could end run whenever they wanted, but then it never actually got enforced or anything, and now it's been years since then. And when I say we, I mean like me and Tedious, so... Most annoying. Well, the hardest one will probably be either Campers or Crabs', Crabs Dream, but annoying? That one's hard to say, um... Maybe, maybe even this one, not because of difficulty, but because it's really, un like, this RNG, it is a little difficult, and it just takes ages. I I'm doing all this to gr literally grab a sock, because it's, like, at the end of the caves anyway, so, like, there's no reason to do, like, that strat that I was doing yesterday to make it free. I almost got hit by that, for example. That would have been an RNG moment. So instead, uh, so th those bull things are RNG, basically, so he... Okay, well, I got through it anyway. I don't think Krabs' dream will be easy, but... Yeah, Campus is genuinely going to be abysmal. With the socks. Especially if I just do it the way I know how to, which is like the old NG Plus way. Because... To get the socks alongside campers, you have to do this- you have to do, like, this really horrible, precise strat to, like, kill a sleepy time before it hits you, and it's really fucking hard, and, like, I don't know what to do with- about- I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. So, yeah, campers is going to be really bad. And I don't know if I can actually clip out without disabling Hans. I actually, like, just don't know. So, that'll be interesting. I mean, somebody like Smiley or whoever will probably know, so... Should ask... I should ask him. Because if I- if I can't do the clips, I'm gonna have to do the most casual fucking... Campers and Crystals of all time, bro. It's gonna be terrible. Skill issue. No, did you see him respawn like immediately, bro? That wasn't to do with me. Nah, the, the game only, uh, doesn't process the Yagata sometimes on 360, and it's, it's only on some 360s. Because I'm playing on OG, that won't be a problem. And even if it were, you just do it casually with wall jumps, or I could just, like, detonate the Tiki's before actually attempting it so that there's no actual risk. Also, I'm still gonna do some stuff later on purpose, like, uh, lasers, because you can cheese one of the lasers, so I should probably do that. But, um, for example, like, well, I c I'll probably get so many socks to the point where I could probably get a Patrick, another Patrick spatula. I'm wondering if I should, like, move certain things to, like, late game or what? I don't know, I still haven't figured some shit out, basically. You know what's kind of amazing? I've never been hit in Drain Alike in this challenge. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be doing Sea Needle pretty early in. Because um, you don't get any advantage for doing it late game. And because I don't need to do CCA, I don't need to worry about uh, wheel count. So I'm probably going to get the wheels in one go as well, just because I, you know... Then I don't have to remember where they are and stuff. And because a lot of them are in the way anyway, the only one that's, like, really out of the way is... Uh, I say really out of the way. The only one that's out of the way is uh, the one in... Uh, the one next to the cannon. And it's not even that out of the way. It's still, like, completely fine. So, yeah, I should grab that, all of that, on the first go. Definitely. Including Sea Needle, if I have the shinies for it. I might do Sand Mountain pretty early too. Obviously, I can't do Larry Slide early because I, I need to. I need the cheese. Oh yeah, that sock in Larry Slide is going to be really bad. By the way, uh, you know the one I got hit in originally. That one is going to be bad. So 
I might actually, never mind, I might go to Larry's slide early, literally just to get the sock and then bail. I might actually do that. But then that's spending a lot of shinies to grab, just effectively, like, well, at, the, at that point in time, like, two socks. But, I don't know, we'll see. Sandman is going to be horrible. Like, actually horrible. Not looking forward to it whatsoever. Haven't I only been hit by a Tata robot once? I'm pretty sure in the- in, yeah, I think I've only ever been hit by a Tata robot once. It's hard to remember for sure. I'm so best. You should play movie Brevets the better game. Hello, Hope All as well. I just woke up. How's it going, Shadow? Um, well, I hope your day is good. Uh, or will be good by the end of the day. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm I'm doing good, thank you. I feel like you might just be able to... Oh, yeah, you can. Alright, so that saves a couple seconds. Well, that's sock. You definitely want to wait for Chuck to shoot before gliding over. I don't know, because... Then by the time I get it over there, he'll just start attacking again. So I'm not sure when the right time is to... Because sure, it takes too long to glide over there, that's a problem. Nah, it's the same one, because none of them even got se uh, 77 spatulas anyway, except the one that failed. So they were all effectively the same thing as a 100% attempt. Because I still kept, you know, only one even got past it, and I still tried to get them all. You're kind of likely to get hit by enemies when you have, like, a speedrunner movement in this game. Which might sound weird, but because, like, the robot's patterns are ironically kind of robotic and your movements are more straight, I feel like you're more likely to get hit in a challenge like this if you have, like, really good movement. Of course, the, the, you actually, you know how long they take to attack, you know, like, what patterns are generally going. But, like... If you just have good movement and just don't know anything else, then that probably, like, maximizes the difficulty, ironically. I'm still saving this for later, by the way. But downtown is gonna be where it's, like, actually different. Me doing Seen at all, because I have the shinies. I'm thinking of doing Tiki's Go Boom, but I don't think that's actually necessary at all. It's blocking my prime. I'm gonna move it over here. So, I think just immediately I'm just gonna do this. So I'm just gonna get shit, like, now. Yeah, exactly, Carden. I, I think one of the hardest ones is hammer robots, because, like, sometimes they'll go directly towards you, and sometimes they'll kind of just, like, completely miss you. Like, by a mile, and won't hit anywhere near you, and it's really confusing to people who just, like, don't understand that he's gonna do that. So, they either have aimbar, or they can't aim you to save- uh, aim at you to save their life, so it's- yeah. Since you aren't inverted today and are back to normal, that will bring you luck today. You may be onto something. Also... Hold on. I think I want to do this first. Because I can break this and just grab the warps and stuff. 
So it's probably best I do that, because otherwise I will pop out, and then I won't... Oh, wait, no, because I could have come here with Sandy, just like in the old no-SBA route, so that actually would have been more optimal. Damn. Hmm, yeah, I mean, if you want to, Carden, then I'll have a look at it. If you want to do that. There, okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like get the old cycle, but I probably will not be able to. Cause I just don't even remember how I'm supposed to bungee down. I can only remember the music cues, honestly. I think I already fucked up, yeah. Look, man, I don't remember as long time ago. Okay. So... This isn't as, like, you remember at, we tried this at the end of the thing last time? <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Oh wait, he's not attacking me for some reason, okay. <laughs> so, this isn't that bad. I I'll get that one in a second. It's more so just like... It's more so just a little risky, and honestly, I probably should have done this, because you get some of the shinies back that you spend, and it's not that bad. I, I guess the issue with it is that it has the most Thunder Tikis on the third one, which means that if you do get hit, then it's, like, as late as possible, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, no, like, there's no advantage to doing this later. Well... Uh, doing this shit with, like, a cruise boost is faster, technically, but obviously I'm not fucking doing that, so... Dude, like, they're all on, like, bad fucking cycles. Uh... I'm just trying to, like... Okay, man, I thought it wouldn't hit me if I nudged it, but apparently not... Well, that was relatively short-lived. Yeah, so you know when I said Sea Needle wasn't that hard? <laughs> yeah. Um... This do be an ah oh, shit, here we go again moment. That's the thing, though. I was in such a weird position. Yeah, so Tiggy's Go Boom is definitely going to be prioritized. So... So that- so that's, like, the only... Well, not the only, but, but like, that's one of the challenges, uh, added on challenges. Um... From last time. In, in the early game. Obviously, there'll be more, but that's, that's like, an immediate one. That's, like, the most notable one in the early game, probably. How's it going? Also, yeah, I call it Tiggy's good. I, I feel like... I just, I don't know, in downtown, I feel like I just... For some reason, I just call every spatula Tiki's go boom, I don't know why. Thank you for the follow.
Bullying is not okay. Unless it's to the streamer. <laughs> and it makes for good content. Okay. What am I doing? It would have been faster to... Do a heat to press the gay button here. I lost like a second. Oh no. My life is over. Now, what's the deal with BFBB runners? <laughs> he would never. When you bully the the fucking streamer more than the fans. Uh, it was quite good. It, like, I have... It was probably about as good as the blue one. And the blue one is, uh, quite solid. So, in order from, uh, best to worst... Probably the red one, then the ice pop one, then the blue one, and then uh, the green one. But the green one is still like 7 out of 10, so... Yeah. Also, I have yet to try the KSI flavor. I want to try it at the end of stream, which I, I probably will. Because I still have yet- That one's going to be the most different one, because... All of these prime flavors, they do taste different from each other. But they taste different from each other, like how, like... A bunch of Coke flavors and Pepsi flavors and Mountain Dew flavors and stuff taste, you know, different from each other. When it comes to, uh, this new one... The KSI one, that one's mango flavor. It's going to taste the most different. And that'll either be a good thing or a very bad thing. Mango? I don't really know how I feel about mango. It, it depends. Like, it, it's, you know... It's very much just like a let's see how it goes type thing, rather than, oh yeah, I love this flavor, or oh no, I hate that flavor. It's very much up to how the f how the fuck is make it. So it's kind of 50-50 if it'll be good or not, basically. Infinity Prime, so he can be the fastest living being in all the cosmos. Cosmo and Wanda. Anyway. Um, I will have you know that I just want all the Prime flavors because it's uh, quirky and funny. Okay, Cotton. You weren't kidding when you said you couldn't stay for long. <laughs> Yeah, um, but thank you for stopping by. Um, I'll probably- this stream will probably be like 7 eight hours, so... Yeah, anyway, thank you for the good luck. Cool. <laughs> Plankton be like, hey! Who knows, like, if I don't get it this stream, then who knows if I'll keep going. I think it depends on how close I was and stuff like that, so. Uh, we'll see how it goes, bro. But this could be the last one. That I was surprisingly close to getting hit just then. That was a little close. Huh. 
Ah, uh, this game is bad. This game is bad. This game is bad. JF Caves is a little clunky. I remember, like, I've mentioned this before a few times, but... In 2021, I may I was working on a huge script for like BF talking about BFB, and, I was, and I, um you know it was gonna be pretty it was gonna be a very 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 long video probably like six seven hours or something for all that like it probably was going to be given like how 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 big the word count was before uh giving up on it and like you know and i spent like i think i spent like an entire page complaining about jf caves because like the whole point with those massive videos is that like you got to be nitpicky And, like, you know, that's, uh... To be expected, but yeah, no, I ranted about JF Caves. Because, like, what, what I like about Jellyfish Fields is that it gives you a great sense of progression. And what I mean by that is that... Hold on. Okay, cool. What I mean by that is that, um... In every other area of Jellyfish Fields, you're climbing up, like, a big hill. And this gives you a sense of accomplishment, because in, in those instances, you can look... You can pan... You can pan the camera to look at uh, lower parts, lower sections of the level. So it makes you feel like you've done a lot, because you can climb up this hill, and then be like, wow, like, everything looks so small from down here. Which makes every- which makes it feel like a bigger sense of accomplishment than it actually is, but it, yeah, it, it does a really good job of just making you feel good, basically. But the reason why I don't like JF Caves is because it's so closed off, and it doesn't scale like that. It is the only part of Jellyfish Fields that doesn't scale like that. Except for the end of Jellyfish Fields, where you go down a big slide and actually go back to the same sort of Y-axis as the beginning of the level. But that is its own positive trait. It still makes you feel good, because, um... Is it, like, it's, it still makes you feel good because of, uh... You know... Hold on. Because you loop back to the beginning. I really like that it does that kind of in, like, downtown and Goolagoon as well. I really like it. Gives a great sense of accomplishment. You get to go back to an area that you've already, like, finished. It's, like, roughly at the beginning. I, I just think it's cool. Um... But JF Caves is not like that, and it's just so different for some reason, and I just don't understand why. And it's jank anyway. A lot of signs are placed after melons. You pick up the melons, and then it forces you to read the sign, but then it breaks the melon automatically, which is really stupid. And it's just really easy to get hit, and it's just kind of BS, and just, like, dumb. You know what's weird, though, about, um, a lot of the levels in this game? The way that they, like, loop back to the beginning, a lot of them do, 
it kind of gives you the impression that the warp system was not a thing early in development. Which, like, I'm pretty sure it was, but it just feels like it wasn't because of just how it... It feels like the game was built so that you don't, like... So warping is not at all, like... You know... Like, it's hard to describe, but they just, like, make it so easy to loop back to places that it just seems like maybe originally they didn't have plans maybe for a menu, like, at the very be beginning of the game's development, maybe? I don't know, it's hard to say. In fact, look, this is what I was talking about with the scaling thing, by the way. Like, you can see, you can literally see Drain the Lake, like, pretty easily. And, and I could just double jump spin to probably even just, like, roughly where the pressure plate is, and I can just go all the way back down. It just goes to show, like, you know... But again, I don't know why JFK is, like, so different. I do not like. Damn, I didn't get the funny. Downtown. Number one in the bikini... Number one in the bikini bottom scavenger hunt. Three years running. Thank you. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. It's faster to do the other order. Uh, the other way around. Downtown's another good example, like... Maybe, you know, being designed without, like, the warp system in mind. Not only is there a lot of boxes, but, like, you break Thunder Tiki's to make everything more open. Which, because of the menu, doesn't- makes it- it's not very useful at all, but it's just, like, cool, I guess. And then that's another example. I have like 400 more shinies than last time, maybe like 300. Wow, the cycle's fucked again. My name is J -J -J -K -K. Hey, what's up, Zach? Mr. Movie playing PFPB. Yes. Anyway, um, thank you very much for the tier one subscription for 23 months. That's nearly two years, especially one month away from two years. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, welcome back to the Pibble Foundation castration. Hope your day is Pog Champion. Did I get it? Fuck. Okay, I got it. Oh my god. Chuck moment. <laughs> Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Number one of the bikini bottom scavenger hunt. Three years running. Thank you. 
So I get so this is where I fucked up last time. So I gotta be a little bit careful. Okay, how am I how am I like strategically avoiding every fucking thunder tiki, bro? There we go. Hmm. It's just not looking good for me right now. I think the strat is yeah, because when you're ascending, you don't take damage. So I, I think like this is literally the strat. But, like, it's gonna be a little hard. Because, like, Jesus Christ. There we go, holy shit. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Um... Yeah, so, so that means you've been around for three years then, because, um... Yeah. Been around for three, because Mindy Skip got found in February 2020. I don't know how the fuck it's been three years. Where does the time go? That is the question. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the, the thing is, is that, like, window pole storage is a shorter category, so... It doesn't take as long to play closely as Summer Burst. But... Yeah. Also, I... Actually, yeah, I'll grab fan sock later. Actually, no, it's faster to grab it now. Unless I did, like, CB rooftops, but I think that requires, like... Dying at one point. If I want to also grab the wheels, so it's just better I just don't bother. Anyway, yeah, like... So I had to move on to, like, other categories. In 2020 is when I started playing, like, 100% and stuff. I'll never forget that old Tokens World record that I got. And I, I literally got it, like, while taking a piss during Sunday 2. And, like, all Tokens and 100% and have gotten a lot harder. Over the years. It's, it's gone a lot harder over the years because, um, like a lot, you know, rubber dub skip, the second rock slide super jump, just like more careful nitro management stuff. Uh, a couple more two friends have been added to the run. Uh, Sunday jumps and spiral skip really, really added a ton of difficulty. You know, it's just. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Honk, how's it going? Venom. Played AWT. Yeah, AWT, uh... I don't like AWT. 
although it's funny, the world record is really bad. It doesn't even include some lag clips that you could do now, and it doesn't include, like, just a couple other things that you would do. You could probably... What's the world record? What's my time? I forgot, but you can get, like, way faster than it. Out of any... Li literally now, right? Out of any other category in the entire game... Uh, it probably has, like... The most time save. 35. Yeah, you can probably get, like, a 32. I'm not even joking. There's no other category can I PB by that much. So even though it's one of the shortest categories, it is, in terms of, like, t actual time save, has, like, the highest off the world record. Like, it's the easiest world record to get objectively. Which is kind of funny. Wow, okay. Are you ready, kids? That was very stupid. Venom, thank you for doing my Brexit. Oh, wait, you fucking fucker. I'm not saying the whole thing now, fuck you. Next time you're redeeming, I'm not saying it. How about that? How about that, bro? How about that? It was good when I got it, but it's pretty horrible by today's standards. Also, I don't remember what time I had in Hundo, but I don't, th I don't think it was a 2.43. Um... I believe the world record was, like, 243. I think I had, like, 238 or something is when I started considering my runs in Hundo, like, pretty good. My, yeah, I got a 238, and I, th and I thought the run was really good. And then, remember, do you remember that 234 I got? That run was really fucking good. Or it might have been 233 or 232. I don't know. It was really good, though. And, um... Now, the world record in Hundo is 224, and 223 is possible, albeit really, really, really fucking hard. So, yeah. I don't- I don't remember, honestly. Top three soundtracks in this game. Ooh, that's kind of a hard one. Um... Dude, I don't know. Um, my favorite is Industrial Park, but then it's pretty hard to decide after that. JF, no. Downtown, probably not. Gulagoon, eh, maybe. Um, Beside him, nah. Ambush music, no. I think... Um, Dream is probably in the top three. Like, I know that's technically ambush music, but it's, like, extended and a bit different. So I'd say maybe that and maybe, like, Kelp Forest. But yeah, Industrial Park is definitely my favorite. It's my favorite. In, uh, if you took all of Battle and Movie soundtrack and Cosmic Shake, I would say the best one is still Industrial Park. Um, oh, Murmler. I fucking... 
Oh, no, Minimal is probably in the top three. <laughs> It basically, it can change a lot, probably, but Minimal is really good. I feel like it needs to be in the top three. I just love it. It's like... No. Hundo really transformed, by the way, when... Uh... We started doing fucking, like, seven Sunday jumps. But now as well, because of Magnetic Pickup, like, that's huge, because... The, like, so early game is uh, a bit easier, but it is a lot more interesting, because it just doesn't have Rub It Up 2, so it's just objectively just has less filler in it. You get to mid-game quicker. Mid-game is technically longer, but it's at the very end of mid-game. Um, Rock Slide has moved from the beginning of late game to the end of mid game, so it's only like five minutes earlier. And Guess Two is moved into late game, so it, it's all, so mid game is only like seven eight minutes faster or something, while also moving Sunday Two like ten minutes earlier into the run, which is enormous because you want to get there ASAP. It is crucial to get there as soon as possible, right? And then. Um, late game is uh, about the same speed as before, but it's a lot harder and more interesting. Because here's the late game backtracking after you're done with Planktopolis, right? Actually, after Knucklehead, because obviously you're going to do Knucklehead in one go. So, your backtracking is, uh, Gesk 2, right? Now that we're men combat. BBBH combat. Rubberdub 2. Uh. Then it's, uh, Weenie. And then, uh. And then Neptune. So, pretty hard stuff, like, back-to-back. -back. Guess 2 is really hard, and now the main combat's really fucking hard, and the BBBH combat isn't as hard, but, like, some shit can still go down. It's a little more RNG-heavy. Hello, Zulkus. I hope you're doing well, too. I'm doing- I'm doing alright, thank you. My name is Jujutuna. Um, Zilgus, thank you very much for the tier 1 subscription for two months. That is greatly appreciated. Welcome back to the Purple Foundation insulation. Holy mother of god, I don't know how I didn't get hit. Hyper X Clouds. I think I'm just uncultured because I do not know what that means, I'm sorry. How did I- okay, no, no, no. Did you see- did you see those fucking spikes, bro? I literally went to- I jumped to that- to that area, like, as soon as I could, and I still got hit. I don't understand what that's about, bro. Oh. Um... I don't know, the HyperXs, though. They're really good. Um, people generally say that they're really good for the price. Uh, the price. And they are. They are really, really good for the price. They're like 50 quid or something, but with the quality of them, you'd expect them to be like at least like 80. The mic is not very good, but who uses headset mics? So... Yeah, no, that like they last a long time. They have adjustable head band thing that's like pretty easy to Although it gets loose after a while. The the cable length is good. It ex um you see this? I can control I can I can enable a bunch of stuff here. Including 7.1 surround sound, which I don't care about, but yeah, you can do that if you want. Like it, genuinely, the headphones are very good for the price. Obviously, if you spend like 200 on them, that would obviously clearly not be worth it, but they are so fucking good for their price. They're probably the best headphones you can get for the price. I can't imagine there's much else you can get. 
So, yeah. I had cloud headphones that were dying. And then they and then I bought another pair and then they stopped dying. So they just they still work. <laughs> like How's it going, Trooper and Dingo and Shiriko? I hope you're all doing good. Um first of all, yeah, it's different Subway Surfers gameplay, though, to be fair. So, but yeah, it's no- the gameplay's no longer flipped. Because this is serious business now. So I gotta get everything. Um, I was going to do movie today, Dingo, but I just woke up and felt like doing... Battle Hundo. I don't know, I just felt like doing it, but I might- maybe after the stream, maybe I just won't try anymore or whatever. Um... Uh, is to keep viewers' attention because, well, especially now, the early game's more reset-heavy than it ever has been. Because I need to do- I need to do stuff I didn't have to do before. Like, I need to do JF caves, I need to do, uh... Sea Needle. I just got hit in Lighthouse, and that was the first time I've been hit in Lighthouse. And I was doing it before anyway, but the fact that I delayed it, I had to delay Lighthouse by a few minutes to get worse things out of the way makes resets more painful. So this is going to be, um, the early game was relatively easy before, but now it's going to be a lot more difficult. These headphones are weird. I only find them uncomfortable maybe like once every like two months or something for like a few hours and then it's fine again. So they hardly ever give me discomfort, but the fact that they do at all is like a bit concerning, but it's like so fucking rare to the point where it's like, how is it even happening if it's happening that infrequently? Like that's that's like such a nothing amount of time. Such a there's practically no time at all that it does that, but it still does it. Um It's just so weird. Also, I don't know how much 95 AUD is, but that sounds like it's more than I paid here converted. The thing is, is that when I bought this pair, they were on sale. I think it was a Black Friday sale, so they were even cheaper. I think they're supposed to be like 60 quid or something, but I got them for like 48 or whatever. So, you yeah, know, that's pretty great. I'm doing Robo Sponge Phase 2 last. Because that makes it more epic. So, yeah. Sweat. I haven't had that issue, personally. My only issue with them is that, um, the adjustable headband thing has gotten pretty loose. And every, like, two or three times I put them on... Uh, they... It, it's on, like, the wrong way. It's, like, I have a set so it's up to, like, three dots or something. Like, three dots about. But for some, like, it, a lot of the time, after a few goes, they go, it... it Decreases to two dots. That's 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 what I tried to do. I tried to swing at the bottom one and then bash in the middle. But like I failed because it does a spiral attack. That was my first interaction with a tubular enemy. The thing is, is that I tried a cru I tried the cruise bubble strat, and then it just it respawns so quickly that it was obvious I wasn't going to be able to get to it in time. So I was like, all right, I guess that's not an option. And then I saw a clip of Carden doing it, and it just worked for him and not me. So, lol, XD is my response to that. But anyway, I'm doing Crab's Dream like basically immediately after Industrial Park because that's going to be probably the hardest thing. Maybe. It, it probably will be. Ooh, 
51. Bro, the Aussie dollar fell off. Rip the rip the kangaroos. Okay. Yeah, it's just funny, like, whenever I, whenever, like, I watch a YouTube video and it's like, oh, this thing was, like, $60 USD, like, 80 Canadian, or and it's, like, a, like, 100 Australian, it's like, Jesus Christ, man, that's, I, I, because that's the thing, I would imagine, like, for example, if you moved, uh, if, if you, um, lived in, like, the UK or whatever for your whole life, and then you moved to Australia, it'd probably take a really long time to adjust everything being much higher than you expected to be. Because it is equivalent, it's just that it doesn't feel like it. It feels like you're getting ripped off all the time, I would imagine. Because, like, you're spending, like, if you spend, like, two pound on something, it would it'd be, like, four or five Australian dollars, and it's like, fucking hell, man. Like... I would imagine it's just difficult to get used to. Peep the title, Jester. Also, hello, at Jester and GDP. Um, well, it's be 100% in the game without taking damage in a breath. That was that no 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 that was bullshit that was that was that was objectively unfair did you no I dare anyone to to clip that that was that was completely unfair did did you see I was literally right next to it like practically touching it and I still got hit that was that was actually unfair as fuck. Oh yeah, you said the prices of crisps are expensive. <laughs> Heavy iron. It'd be j I mean, I know Shaw's a little jank anyway, but I feel like it was made by Heavy Iron, probably even more jank. Depends. Six to eight. I can't live like that personally. Seven fifty. Jesus Christ, man. I'd cry. Going to Australia. I just feel like I'm ripped off all the time. No, it's it's like ten hours. And for anybody wondering, um, it is not the same Subway Surfers gameplay as the other two streams. It is actually different this time. However, I am running out of... I, I typed in on YouTube, like, mo mobile gameplay, like, 10-hour mobile gameplay or whatever, and literally all I could find is two Subway Surfers videos, and one of them I've already used for stream, so... Yeah, I'm running out of fucking gameplay, basically, so... So, no looping, basically. I don't even know if it does loop. You know what I did? I literally just fucking... ...downloaded an MP4, and then put it on OBS. I don't even know if it loops. 
But I have an idea if it doesn't, because I know how to make it manually loop, but I don't know if it just loops on its own. But god forbid, if this stream somehow goes to 10 hours... Uh, then let me know if the Subway Surface gameplay uh, ends, and then I can do something about it. Like, pretty quickly. Shoutouts to, like, the really old Hundo Rao in battle. Used to get that sock over there and then do a, a one-frame damage boost over here to grab the box warp. It was kind of burst. So, like, Hundo was pretty nice because you didn't have to do hammer skipped. But I'm pretty sure... Wow, oh my god, this game is terrible. Name a worse video game. I'll wait. Except for Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension DS, of course. Words really can't do it justice how much I hate that game. I just remembered something cringe to do with, technically, like, to do with Phineas and Ferb. I, I was, you know, I'm in the Phineas and Ferb Discord server, minding my own business. Well, you know, I have it muted because I have, like, every server muted, but I'm still in there because I'm a runner. And I got a ping in there, and I read it, and then somebody said, like, at purple, why are you in this server if you hate Phineas and Ferb so much? And I was just like, that's a very weird thing to say. Just like to, like, at me in the server. Like, for everybody to see. As if it, like, absolutely requires my attention. And, like, even then, e even if you absolutely needed to know, you could, like, DM me. Or ask me on stream. But, no, it, you have to ask, the, like, the entire it, see in front of those ass server, bro. And, like, it doesn't even make sense. So, I, I don't, I don't like one Phineas and Ferb game that I ran, so I shouldn't be in the server. Even though I've ran, like, another fucking Phineas and Ferb game since then. Like, and I didn't- and I didn't mind that one. It's just dumb. Imagine if they were, like, a Spongebob hub server for, like, all of the Spongebob games. And then I didn't like- I didn't- I, you know, I didn't like running Creature or something. And then somebody asked me, he's like, why do- why do you- why are you in the Spongebob server if you don't- if you don't like Creature from the Krusty Krab? You know, very- very dumb. Very- doesn't make any sense. Hello, once again, Lena. Can you back? Can you go back to the pineapple and talk to Gary? I want to hear him meow. No. Although the next time you'll be able to hear him, I believe, is in downtown. So if you stick around, you'll be able to hear him. I'm in like 50 Overwatch servers, and I hate the game. Why are you in 50 of them? <laughs> That's literally half the server list that you can have. You can only have a hundred, I believe. Confess your sins.
You're still good at the game, Lena. I believe in you, bro. I'm biased, and I don't mean any offense when I say this, but I I don't personally understand how you could, like, support more than tank, because supports just get shit on all the time. Whereas tank is more, like, in the action. And, like, a, a, you know, a healer is useless if the tank is useless, but if, if the... If the healer is useless, then there's still, like, some potential for the tank to, you know, you might have a chance to, like, take, you know. I guess I could see that. I will say that I did prefer playing tank in Overwatch 1 as well, and the reason why is because there was less pressure on me, because two people would be tank. So if I played bad, then if the other person picked up the slack, then, you know... And if they were playing bad as well, then we both get shit on, not just, like, the one person, so it wasn't that bad. But now that it's, it's like, the only... It's the only role where only one person can pick it. And it feels a little more like, uh, you ha your skill matters more in t with tank. Which you would think is a good thing, but I feel like it just puts the... Really puts the pressure on you more. And for example, it makes like it makes it easier to counter the tank. It makes it easier to counter the tank because it's just a one-way system, you know. Oh, Diva is on the other team, I'll just pick Zarya, but it, you know, it might like it might have in Overwatch 1, it might have been D.Va and, uh, Roadhog or something, or D.Va and Reinhardt, and, but now it's, it's more, it's more, it's easier to, like, counter the opposing tank. Yeah. That- that is true. Like, it's kind of annoying, and it even affects other- other roles, honestly. Junkrat, you know how hard he's countered by, like... Bruh. You know how hard he's countered by, like, Farah, Mercy, Echo... But, like, in Overwatch 1, it wasn't as bad, because, like, it's particularly in the tank role, because... He's he's kind of countered by Diva, but more more in particular Zarya. But it wasn't as bad before because it wasn't just Zarya on the opposing team. It might also be like Roadhog or something or Reinhardt, and and, and it wasn't as bad then. You know, there aren't like it's unlikely they have two tanks that can that are really good against Junkrat. But now if it's Zarya, you just know immediately to fucking switch because you're about to get destroyed. Oh, dude, I'm not even exaggerating, right? I played Overwatch 2 for, like, over an hour. It was, like, two hours or something recently. Literally, no, no exaggeration. I do mean the word literally. Every single game had a mercy. Every single game. I, like, she skyrocketed in usage and quick play. She was pretty common before, but she was in every single game, and that is not an exaggeration. I don't know how many games we played. But, if, if, you know, we played for like two hours, two and a half hours. That's a lot of fucking games. And she was in all of them. How the hell? So Junkrat was just- and then, who pairs well with Mercy? Farah. So, who was I seeing in, in practically every game? Pharmacy. Do you think I could do anything about that as a fucking Junkrat, bro? And, and Roadhog isn't such a checkmate to them anymore. Because instead of killing the Mercy, you'll just get the Mercy low. He's just nowhere near as effective. So, the two tanks- the two characters that I play... ...are worse at dealing with these super common characters. And it wouldn't be as bad if there was a second tank to kinda, you know... Characters like Roadhog are pretty good against, like, Winston and stuff, but, like, what's the fucking point if it's just gonna use fucking... 
Fucking... There we go. What's the point when it, like, when... They're not even gonna, like, have a second tank for you to prey on, I guess? Okay, I will say that most people who have thousands of hours in a video game will tell you that the video game is bad. I will say that. People are a lot more... People say more positive things about a game when they have hundreds of hours in it as opposed to thousands. I haven't been looking at Overwatch uh, buffs and nerfs recently, so I don't know, like, what's going on. But if they actually, like, buffed Mercy, then that's really cringe, because she was already, like... People realized that she was too much, and then they increased her ammo for some reason, which doesn't really matter, but they still did it. Still technically a buff. And, and then, apparently, I guess they buffed her in another way. Anyway, I have, like, hundreds of hours in Overwatch, and I do think it's good. However, you have to understand, I played my first game since January, and and the very first game, the, the enemy tank was being extremely toxic. And you have to understand that if you play quick play for, like, a couple hours a day, you're going to get at least one toxic person a day on average. It is just... It is so unlikely to be zero, and if anything, it's probably more like... It's probably more likely to be two than zero. Like, it... Like, it, it's pretty bad. Like, Overwatch being free to play is probably the worst thing that's ever happened to the game, and I really do mean that. People are like, oh, TF2 is better because it's free. Nah, man, Overwatch should have stayed. Maybe, maybe reduce prices swing, but nah, should not have been fucking free. That actually ruined the game. Significantly more toxic than it ever was. It's not even, like, it's so bad, dude. Before, you'd get one toxic person every, like, three sessions or something, and now it's every fucking session. God, and that's with 10 people being in a game instead of the old 12. It's it's 10 instead of 12, and it's still it still happens like two or three times more often than before. It's so bad. Hello, clicks. I hope your day is good today. It's no longer flipped because now this is serious business. It's like I'm doing something that got from low-key uh, relatively easy to like actually will probably be pretty hard. So, so the funnies are over except for subway surfers, of course. Now it's like half ironic instead of fully ironic. Every time I do, every time I do a sub goal that doesn't have a timer or or doesn't have splits rather, I should I should literally just use mobile gameplay like unironically because it'll be good for uh, you know be good for the stats. I don't even remember when you left, Markiplier, but I got hit in Lighthouse, and then I got hit. I slammed- I was literally right next to an enemy. I slammed, and he just hit me anyway. Like, I, I, sta I slammed to stun him, and he literally just didn't get stunned. It was really annoying. But the Lighthouse thing was worse. Um, I, I just got hit by a fodder, because I'm bad, I don't know. <laughs> Free-to-play is so bad, Shiriko, because now, like, over, over, uh, Blizzard are focusing more on the general audience as opposed to the competitive sense. So that everything's just unbalanced and fucking bad, and all the players are really toxic. I see way more toxicity in a 10-player game, Overwatch, compared to Team Fortress 2, a 24-player game. 24. And I see toxicity... Nowhere near as often, and it has more than double the play account. What does that tell you? It has literally nearly fu fucking. It has 2.4 times the, the play account in a full team, and you see toxicity nowhere near as much, and the game has always been free to play. Like, what the hell?
And then you might be saying, like, well, then why do people... Why do people play Overwatch then? But that's the thing, dude. The game is so... Like, you gotta understand, back in, like, 2017, the game was so good. It was so good. Toxicity was nowhere near as bad. There were less heroes, which meant there were less balancing issues. The community was very... There was this guy, I forgot, it was, like, Jeff. I, I know I know him, my name's Jeff. He would, like, do these, uh... They would do, like, these, um... Kind of heart-to-heart, uh... presentations it would just be jeff talking to the camera being like we've heard your feedback and you guys have been saying that this character is too strong and we fully agree we have to say you know he he was like the voice of reason and he was and but he quit uh back in like 2019 or 18 so you don't have that communication anymore with the uh with the with the company and then, and then the the scandal shit happened with like the employees like sexually harassing women and stuff like that. They had to change McCree's name to fucking Cassidy as well. Like, and you know, it's just. And the, their buffs became more extreme. The buffs and nerfs became more extreme than before. And there was there was like this old beta testing server. So when they made changes, you could like test it on like this beta server before they actually went live, and they just removed it. You can't access those servers anymore to test beta stuff. So now, like, something is permanently in the actual game until people make enough of a stink about it, which before was not the case. So, it's a lack of of communication, and they also just take things to a new extreme compared to before. And it's really frustrating. Most of the time, that's because they force themselves to do 100% for trophies and the achievements. That's why I never decide if I'm going to go for the Platinum Trophy or 100% achieve until I beat the game normally, and then decide if I want to put more time into it. Yeah, I always do that. Unless it's a game already beaten, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to 100% it. But yeah, no, I fully agree with you, Shadow. Or else you might get sick of it. Has, has, has that ever happened to, like, anyone on the entire planet? Like, like actually, the entire planet? Are you noticing the things are happening today that didn't happen the other two days when I was less knowledgeable? How's it going, Al? Team Fortress players, when they die of boredom from lack of content, they start questioning the colors of objects in the maps. The last major Team Fortress 2 update was 2017. That game, I can't believe it's still alive, and it's only alive because of the TF2 is a really fucking bad problem. Uh, I just- I just didn't start the timer. I'm starting it now. TF2 is a really bad problem. Um... The bots, basically. It's the bots. When I got into TF2, which was 2021, the bots were probably the worst they've ever been, and I was like, wow, this game's kind of low-key unplayable. They were in every single game, there were several of them. All the bots would pick Sniper and just snipe you immediately. It's really bad, and it still is really bad for the record. It is still really bad. <laughs> um... How am I low on shinies? TF2 was, was really simplistic, but in a good way. I think that was part of its appeal. There were only so many classes to choose, and because it was 12 players per team, you just guaranteed to have repeats. But, that but you know, it wasn't a thing like Overwatch, where, like, you can only- only one person can pick one hero. 
in TF2, you could have theoretically an entire team of, of medics if you really wanted to, or an entire team of engineers. And like, you know, multiple people could pick their favorites and that's cool. And the other good thing about TF2 is that because it's 12 players per team, Because it's 12, it's 12 players per team, if you're playing like shit, it doesn't matter that much. Your impact on the game is not very big, which means that if you are having an off day, it really doesn't matter. That was another thing as well. You didn't, you didn't have to feel, because Overwatch having five players is probably a good thing per team. But you just, like, at the same time, you feel like if you're playing bad, it's going to affect the entire team, as it probably should. But with TF2, there's so many slots that if you're playing bad, it really doesn't matter, because somebody on the other team is probably playing bad too, so you're just kind of evening it out. It really doesn't matter. And that's what's great about it, you dude. You don't need to play good. You don't need to, like, care that much. You can just play it for fun, and you can pick your favorite, and nobody's going to really fault you for it either. It's it's just so more laid back and chill, while also being pretty interesting and fun. And also TF2, uh, TF2 has uh, cosmetics. I guess well, not like it has stuff that actually affects stats, unlike Overwatch. So you can get like a a gun or a, a, a you know a melee or whatever that is slightly different from the, you know maybe it makes you run faster but its crit chance is a lot lower or something like that maybe the crit chance is a lot higher but it has more recoil or whatever you know just something like that and like that's cool you know also the engine is pretty fun to fuck around with. I think people just get a kick out of, like, when it comes to the bots, I think people just want to feel good. I don't know. I mean, you could say, why do people use x-ray in Minecraft or something? After they get a couple stacks of diamonds, they're not going to care anymore. And that's true, but they still just, people still do it. it. You can't really understand why somebody cheats unless you've cheated. That's the thing. You can't really... You won't understand until you've done it yourself. So I can't understand getting bots because I've never bought bots or used them. So I don't know. I couldn't understand. Yeah, I think it depends on, like, what you actually view as cheating. Like, for example, would exploits be cheating if it's a single-player game that you're 100%ing? And, like, how big is the exploit? And, you know, that's pretty low scale. But, for example, in Sonic Heroes, I've been using this exploit to build up Team Blast really quickly, but it's actually hard. You have to be in flight formation... Then, uh, press B, and then exactly one frame later, press, like, X, I think it is. And if you did it right, it'll fill up, like, a 30 a meter. So you gotta do it a bunch of times in a row, and because I'm trying to get A rank, I'm just doing that. To clear through enemies more quickly. Um. But I am adding difficulty, but I'm still making the A ranks easier overall, but the, some of the A ranks are bullshit, so it's like, you know... If the game is cheating you, is it fair to cheat it back? But yeah, when it comes to these multiplayer games, it's on a completely different level. Unless you and your friends are all cheating on the same server or something, you're not harming anyone, then maybe. But like, and then it's like, why bother with that? I've never cared for CSGO. Because, um... I don't know, I just didn't like it. it you know, you'd see videos of, like, CSGO toxic compilations or it just seemed kind of like a toxic community and yeah i don't know i just like i don't really have a great reason for it i did buy it back in the day gave it a go didn't like it i, I don't know it's just maybe maybe well back when i was younger i really cared about like cartoon visual cartoony visuals and stuff and that game was not cartoony visuals and then as i grew older i just was more interested in other games anyway so it, it just i don't know 
So you'd, you would argue that then the Valorant would be way up my alley, but I don't like it because it's quirky CSGO, ironically. It's like CSGO with like a dash of Overwatch. It's like weird. Why does me Markiplier in the sense of like accomplishment? Like, it doesn't actually matter if, for example, you play Plants vs. Zombies and you use, like, a cheat that, like, infinitely, um, not infinitely, instantly recharges seed packets, you can place them again instantly. It's technically not, like, it's single player, so it doesn't matter. But it is still kind of weird to do something like that. It's just, it doesn't actually matter, but it's just a bit like kind of. It's just kind of like. That's kind of lame, I guess. I don't know. Watermelon. Ah. I, I was watching the BFB credits earlier, Lena, and one of the names was Colin Walter. We have to make BFBB, Walter. Every okay, l let me say this, right? Most big streamers are honestly pretty boring. It's just that the chat's entertaining because it's really fast and they react to anything. I I'd say the vast majority of b really big streamers are not as interesting as people that I watch with like 100 viewers or like 60 viewers or whatever. They do the same thing. If anything, it's easier because they generally don't stream as often and they just don't have to put as much enthusiasm into stuff. Um, don't have to try as hard. Instead, they'll just play a game because they feel like it, and then they, they hardly have to... They, basically, when you get a, when you become a big streamer, you basically just have to think out loud. And you don't really need to pay attention to chat because, like, you've already, you're already gonna make more money in that one three-hour stream than some, than McDonald's employees are gonna make in, like, a week, so... You know, you can basically just do whatever you want. You just think out loud. I could be doing that right now. I don't have to respond to chat if I was a big streamer. I could just... I love this game. Again, I'm making mistakes I just didn't make before. Several, in fact. That's my first time fucking up Drain the Lake. I fucked up, you know, Sea Needle. Fucked up, uh, Lighthouse. Uh, I'm just fucking up these things I didn't fuck up before, even though I have more experience, which is basically the life of a speedrunner, ironically. <gasps> Sometimes you grind in a category for so long they just play like shit for like a week until it just magically goes away. I think the Mario movie will be good, but I don't think it'll be great. I, th I think it'll just be like 7 out of 10, like good. And that's all it really needs to be. As long as it's 7 out of 10, you can't really complain, I suppose. But yeah, I, I think it's just gonna be that, probably. I do watch a couple big streamers, but some of them are, like, understandable, like... Simply, when I watched him, I watched him way back in the day when he had, like, 100 viewer averages and stuff, and now he gets, like, well over a K pretty easily. So that's more understandable. Um, and also, he's an inspiration for me. Because he had, like, Carpal Tunnel and Tendinitis and stuff. I had Tendinitis. So I looked up to Simply, and then he was getting back into Mario, and he was quite, you know... Inspiring me a lot. It was like, oh, he's playing Mario, maybe I could come back to movie at some point, you know? But then, uh, because of him, I learned about the Mind-Body Prescription. And that was, like, crucial. I don't, I, like, who knows if I would have even found- My life could have still very well been ruined if it weren't for that. And maybe I would have found it by then, but maybe not. So, very likely the reason why my life is- is- has any enjoyment to it whatsoever is because of him. And I really owe him a lot for that. I've never done that. 
How's it going, Wilcon? Um... I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to do damage this 100%. I thought it'd be cool. So, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I just could I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like playing a movie, so I was just like... Why raid a big person who doesn't need it? Yeah, to be fair though, you could also say like, why subscribe to a big streamer when they don't need it? But yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying, like... I, I don't judge people or anything, like... You could say, like, why are you giving this money to a big streamer? Like, $2.50 to them is, like, fucking, like, five pence for you. But, like, and that is true, but, like... It's, it's just natural, I don't know, it's just people just want to support the people that they like, even if they're big or small, generally. Because that'd be, like, ridiculously hard. Dingo. Like, that'd be, like, on a whole other level. I bet you battle 100% damage list is not as hard as movie any percent damage list. I guarantee it. I love Prime. Lena, I, that's like that for me, but it's every time you meow instead. Uh, that movie would probably be... I mean, then battle would probably be harder, but... Actually, no, if, it, if it's battle any percent, then that'd definitely be easier than... It, it, battle any percent twice would still be easier than movie any percent once, damage loss. Well, I say any percent, I mean no pole storage. The exception is if you enable box state, which I never did for damage loss, but that is an option, technically. Box state makes this you cannot take damage. But it also removes most of your moves, so some parts you just physically can't use it. But a lot of the time you can, and that would let you cheese it pretty well. Uh, it doesn't work in sliding and driving levels, though, I don't think. So, yeah. And the hand can still grab you, but that only really matters for, like, Rock Slide. I thought you liked Pussy. I love Pussy. Just not Pussy Cat. Well, I mean, I, I like Pussy Cats. But, you know. Brian's been, uh, chilling a lot. Brian's picked his new favorite place, and that place is, uh... One of the dog beds in the kitchen, and he's smart. He gets Bella's attention so that she gets out of the bed and starts harassing him, and then he and then he runs to like the bed so he can sleep in it. No, I have a cat named Brian. My ear did the thing where like it just goes, it just kind of rings. You know, you know, just went out of nowhere, you, you, you just goes, be... Yeah, that was basically it. Well, it is a Family Guy reference. Um, it is a Family Guy reference. Hey. Ewax build up. I, I've always, my, honestly, I've always been a kid with a lot of earwax. Just always have been. But yeah, no, my, my, my cats are named Brian and Stewie. Also, I do have, I do have dogs. I have, t I have three cats, Brian, Stewie, and Pickles. Although, originally, his name was gonna be Noodle. Um, and we did have a cat named George, but she passed away in 2020. Was it 2020? 
Or was it 2021? No, no, no. It was definitely 2020. God, really? Fucking two and a half years ago? That's fucked. Anyway. And I have two dogs. Lenny, who's like 12. He's like 12 and a half, I think. He, yeah, still, he's still got a few years left in them, though, I'm sure. And Bella, who is, uh, like two and a half years old, and she still pisses and shits off the fucking training mats. Jesus Christ, why does she do that? And you die of too much sex? Probably. You probably get a heart attack. Who came up with those fruity-ass names for a fruity-ass cat? They were both my mom's name. Uh, my mom's idea. Also, Bella was originally gonna be called Jess. But she didn't want that because there's already a dog on the street named Jess. So, yeah, instead is Bella. Ow. I kind of didn't want it to be named Jess anyway. Like, I prefer the name Bella. Well, at first I was like, eh, I don't know. But then after like a day or two, I was like, oh yeah, no, Bella's definitely better. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like one-syllable names for dogs just don't really work that well. I feel like two syllables is better. Or more, but like, yeah, I just don't like one-syllable names for dogs. Fucking, ugh. I literally didn't fuck that up a single time before, now I've done it twice. Like, again, just, like, this is, like, the worst I've ever played, like, with this challenge, and I'm on day three, and I know more now than before. We're probably gonna remove another emo at the end of the stream, by the way. I did remove Discord mods and cheer snugglies. Ooh, eh. I still don't know how to do bridge skip. Breaking bad reference. While well, I'm breaking the game and the game is bad, so yeah, it says breaking bad reference. I am not cutting my hair. I like the, my hair the way it is, and it'll stay the way it is. Shadow thing for new and Brexit had already happened. The only thing, when I eventually get a haircut, I'm just gonna make the hair shorter, but it's still gonna be long. Rest assured. Oh. I forgot about the announcer. Gay button? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll press him in a minute. To, to minimize the amount of time it takes me to press the buttons, I'm going to do it during the next load and also the next cutscene, which is like right after. Brexit is just me saying thank you for Demon Brexit, it already happened. Because it was added before it happened, and then it got, and that was after it happened. Okay, um... Ah, oh, fuck. Gay. Good. Gay. Well, my plan failed. Are you asking what the, what Brexit is in general, or are you asking what the reward is? Why did Jam message me? Ah, it's infinite. 
Ultra combo, let's go. By the way, uh, with iPie's full game movie hack, by the way, I asked him if he was going to make it Xbox compatible, and he said he plans to. He said he doesn't know how to do it, but he said he, pl he pl still plans to do it, so that's like fucking Gucci. So I'm not sure if he's going to release the hack, like, before... Like, I don't know if he's going to release it and then make it Xbox compatible after the fact, but yeah, I'm going to be playing on Xbox whenever it comes out, assuming it ever does come on Xbox. If he gives up, then I'll just play on Dolphin. Because I doubt it'll be console compatible. Because there's so many levels. Porting, I've heard, is a pain in the ass. I think Sky had some issues porting BFB mixed to Xbox. But the thing is, is that, like, as standards increase, I feel like generally now you'll be, you're slowly beginning to be expected to do it. Well, I just mean, like, when people eventually start actually porting to Xbox and not just BFB mix, like, iPie's hack will be doing it too, so it'll be a full game battle hack and a full game movie hack that, that does it. Eventually, it's gonna get to the point where people expect you to do although by then it might be easier. But when it comes to the full game hacks, you definitely should make them Xbox compatible, I will say that. Because Xbox will be, like, the fastest version, so for speedrunning, like, you should definitely do that. I wonder if iPie's hack would be good for speedrunning. I'll play it casually, and then we'll, we'll have a look. I'm so excited for his hack, by the way, I'm so excited. No idea how close it is to completion, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. It'll be- it'll be great content, and it'll just be great to just finally, finally, finally have a full game movie hack. I can't believe it's taking this long, but... It'll be worth it in the end. So when I play it, like, I don't plan to be nitpicky or anything, but obviously I would like to give suggest- You know, with, with, the, with full game hacks, there's obviously gonna be things that I personally feel like could be improved on, because it's just gonna be very subjective when there's that many levels and stuff. With BFAB Mix, I personally felt like the crab spats were too cheap. Because casually, it was, like, ridiculously easy to get enough. Um, and it was also just, like... Some challenges being, like, weirdly difficulty spiked or whatever. Um, you know. But overall, I really, really like BFB Mix, and I genuinely think that it's, like, not far off like this game. I really think, like, they're pretty close in quality. Because obviously you don't have any of the voice acting, and obviously, like, everything looks blocky in BFB Mix. But the crab spats are significantly better. And that matters a lot. Um... And BFB has, like, a few spatulas that are really cringe resident. In BFB Mix, I feel like none of them. Are, uh, like, cringe. And there were some really good ideas with some areas. So I feel like they're actually surprisingly close in quality. BFB Deluxe, maybe. Definitely possible. It's built it's just building on the foundation of BFB, so it probably will be good to run. That might be worth looking into for some people. What's up, gaming guy? 
Yeah, that'll be in, like, the far future, but... Yeah, no, definitely, I get what you're saying. You know what, as well? I forgot to mention this. I feel like every mod at this point should be console compatible, unless they're just doing things that just, like, physically can't work on. Like, if their ideas are just too big scale. But if something, even if it's a pain in the ass, if something could absolutely be console compatible, I feel like it always should be. In my opinion, there is, that there is like, a standard for that now. And you could say, well, why would I want to play on console? But you don't understand, man. Like, if... Hacks feel so much better to play on console. It, it, it's like when people care about, like, SM64 hacks being console compatible. It's also- it isn't just, oh, I want to be able to play on my CRT with, like, the AV cables and stuff. It's also a thing of how impressive it is. Like, oh, wow, you managed to get this to work on console? That's so cool. As a kid, I always wanted to go to Mrs. Puff's boating school, and then BFB Mix, you go to Mrs. Puff's boating school, and you can do it on console. It's fucking based. It's like, holy shit. It, it's like I'm a kid again. Playing on my CRT, I'm, I'm just a kid again, at being able to experience this. Th that's that's what it basically. It kind of like feels like some sort of like nostalgia, I guess. But it's also just impressive to get shit to work on, and it makes it easier for like people in future, like to if they want to port the thing to console. Like people have already done it before, so they they can get more help, you know. Modding is complicated in all aspects, and being knowledgeable in everything just makes your life easier, even like the minor stuff. The moment blocky levels are considered too basic, mods are gonna take ten times longer to make. Yeah, true. Unless there's like some easier technique to like get nicer looking geometry in, but probably not. Well, there is no PC version of this game. But if you're talking emulator, it's really easy to get hacks on emulator because emulators let you do stuff that would crash on console. Yeah, um... On Dolphin, if something would have crashed on console, it gives you an error code. So, but otherwise, it'll, it'll just work. You could, you could just press ignore, and then it, and then it just works. Whereas, like, on console, it would've crashed. Uh, PCSX2 and Zemu for PS2 and Xbox, respectively. However, um... Modding on PS2 is really hard, and just, it, you know, there's no good reason to mod to play on PS2, as opposed to GameCube, you know. Um, and... Zemu is just not very good, and has a lot of problems. So... Yeah. If you, if you just don't have any of the original consoles... You want to play on Dolphin, because all the hacks are always made with Dolphin prioritized, first and foremost. Every single one. Always use Dolphin. Dolphin, the thing is as well, right, is that you need to test your builds. So... Dolphin is also the fastest to, like, test mods for. Because you don't have to build an ISO every single time. The way the Dolphin works, you can just, like, edit files to something. It's hard to explain, but you don't have to rebuild an ISO image every time you want to... So it's, like, easier to mod on Dolphin anyway. It's because PS2... I think it's because PS2 emulation and stuff is, like, bad. I think that's the reason why.
Yeah. I don't know exactly why it's hard to port to PS2, but I know that it's horrible because Sky tried to get it to work on BFEB Mixer and it was just a disaster. It just wasn't working. Uh. And granted, that was a while ago. That was 2020, but like still. Oh my god, it would take it would take billion years. Like Dolphin isn't even a perfect emulator, but it's one of the best emulators to ever exist. And it's been around for an extremely long time. You need to be an excellent coder. You need to understand the hardware to a very well, you need to understand it as well as you possibly could. Which means, like, reverse engineering, like, all the code for the console, and getting it to work on emulator. Wait, I'm not supposed to be doing this yet. Um... Yeah, extremely, extremely hard. There are nearly no emulators on the planet that are perfect. There are, like, NES emulators and SNES emulators, I think, that are perfect. As in, like, instruction for instruction, they're identical to consoles. But even Dolphin's not perfect, and it's still really amazing. It has a high compatib uh, compatibility rate. I think only, like, 0.1% of games or something don't boot up. But there's a difference between good emulation and perfect emulation. And there, it's, Dolphin has a high percentage of perfect emulation, but it's not... I don't even think it's 50%. Or it might be, but it's, it's definitely not 100, I'll tell you that. So, even Dolphin's not perfect, and it's still amazing. Dolphin has something that a lot of emulators don't, which is having accurate low times. Yeah, movie has perfect emulation. PS the PS2 emulator is incredibly flawed. Uh because they used an easier I, I don't know it exactly, but apparently they took the easy way out with emulating it, and now that it's too far in, and now it's just it'll never be perfect emulation. It'll always be scuffed. So that's kind of, that's a little unfortunate. It's not that big a deal at all. Like most games, really doesn't matter, but it does cause it to not be completely perfect, perfectly accurate. Which means it's not allowed for runs. You ca you can't use PS2 movie for runs, for example, uh, emulator because it's just not the loads are too fast, basically. Oh, nice shadow! Congrats. That is pretty best. I finally remembered what to do here for the cycle. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize it was 2003, but yeah, no, it's extremely old and it's not perfect at all. Well, I say it all as if it's like, you know, but, but no, like, Dolphin Emulator is amazing, but it is not perfect. You know, I think it even took a while for, like, NES emulators and stuff to be perfect. And obviously that's a significantly less, uh, sophisticated console. And Dolphin is also about Wii emulation as well. And, like, that, you know, it's Wii emulation's really fucking good, by the way. But, yeah, that's, that's the other problem. G GameCube and Wii are too similar to the point where you just expected to also support Wii emulation. So they gotta support two libraries of games, which must have been annoying back then. 
It was a bit of a pain in the ass, but it was, it was definitely worth it, though. I worked out the strat with this, by the way. If, if you're ascending, you don't get damaged by the Thunder Tiki, so I need to, like... If I want to be super safe, then, like, that's what I do. Oh my god. I'm getting a bit... impatient. There we go. That's just always gonna be kind of annoying, I think. Yeah. And keep in mind that a lot of emulators are just not... For example, Zemu was in a pretty bad state until like a year ago. And it's still not good enough for runs. Although it will definitely be uh, eventually, obviously, but it'll probably be sooner than later. So the issues with movie Zemu... Is that, and I think Battle Zemu as well. The first of all, the loads are too fast was not accurate. Second, Shadows are fucked. And third, the game likes to crash a lot. And fourth, the frame rate is not hitting 60 as often as it should. The first issue, apparently they're working on it, so that's great. Um, so the loads will be accurate eventually. Uh, the shadow issue will apparently also be fixed, because it's just a rounding error, apparently, so it won't be that hard to fix. And it'll, it'll apply to battle as well, so you can so you can fix two games with the price of one. So there's definitely more incentive to do that, because you get more progress done with, like, one fix. Um, as for it crashing a lot, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, what they would need to do with that. I get. I mean, the emulator itself would probably just need to be more, you know... And the frame rate, I think that's also just like the code being slightly unoptimized. I think that might take a while, but basically, as long as the loads finally become accurate, I think even in its state, even in the rest of its, even with the rest of its issues, I think it's still good enough to allow for for runs. Even though it'd be kind of discouraging in the sense that it crashes a lot, you still could finish a run. So as long as the loads are accurate or slower than console, then that's all that matters really. I think then we can finally allow it for runs. Which I would definitely look forward to. Nah, it just crashes a lot. My, like, I've booted it up before and it crashes on the main menu. You try to save a state and it crashes sometimes. You try to load a state and it crashes. Eventually, uh, it also gets tasking tools as well, as you can imagine. But yeah, it's kind of funny, because, um... The most sophisticated Xbox emulator for a while was CXBX Reloaded. But Zemu just kind of really took off last year, and now it's, like, really good. Really good for, like, how long it's actually been, like, improved for. Like, it, it's- it, it, it was a drastic thing. To, to give you an idea of how fucking terrible it was, like, in 2021, right? The most recent release couldn't even fucking boot up movie. Older releases could, but the current version couldn't. At the time, the current version. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm really run- I'm running out of breath, I'm not gonna lie. Uh. I'm just, like, talking a lot. But yeah, the Xbox was practically a computer. And despite that, its its emulation is still pretty- is still kind of in its infancy. 
Which, you know, should get across just, like, how... ...difficult, uh, emulation actually is. And something we haven't even talked about is, like... Emulators, uh, for example, some emulators don't work well on, like, consoles, for example, like, um, PSPs or whatever, or maybe not, but, you know, DS. And sometimes, obviously, it's just, you know, but, yeah, that's the thing as well. With PCs, they all have different hardware, and that's another thing. That's why making a game for console, it's easier to optimize it than PC, because PC, anyone could be practically using any fucking graphics card or whatever, or motherboard. That's the thing. Shader compiling. Yeah, I'm not surprised, really. Shaders are just like, you know, I think it's like the visual side of things. Um, I'm missing four socks. I know where one of them is, so that's six. Fuck. Seven. Where are the other two? Oh, yeah, eight. Where's the last one, then? Oh. It's in fucking Lighthouse again. Dude, I do this every single time. I literally always forget that it's in Lighthouse. No, I got... No, th that one's, like, in your face uh, with the way that we do downtown. Um, but no, like, I know where they all are, so I'm gonna grab them later, because they're easy. I just didn't I just wanted to, I just did Lighthouse now, because, like, I just didn't want to forget. <laughs> but I'll remember the rest, I'm sure. So, Gulagoon's gonna be the exact same as last time. Grab everything, except for connect the towers. Even grab all the socks, except for one frame sock, and just grab it later. So this is just going to be the exact same as it was before, so exact same difficulty. Jellyfish Fields is a little bit harder, and Downtown was a reasonable amount harder, but Gulagoon's going to be literally identical. But yeah, basically, we need Zemu to, like, be good eventually, I will say that. Xboxes are very slowly dying. But that isn't the only issue, um... Mindy Skip is only possible on Xbox, and a lot of people cannot play the game because they only want to play no pole storage and they cannot play no pole storage because they don't have an Xbox. So we've, we're fucking desperate. We need it more than like most communities where Xbox is the fastest. We might even need it more than any other community, honestly. Because for the most part, people only really play no major glitches because they're on... PS2 or GameCube. If they could play on on Zemu, then it wouldn't be a problem. And the game's activity count would just increase. You might even get, like, the next big movie runner, like, the next, like, world record holder or something, but, but they currently won't play the game because they don't have fucking Zemu. We've probably already discouraged people from being able to play the game to a point where it can't be repaired, you know, that sort of mental, you know... Some people want to do something at a certain time, and when they can't do it, it just kills the motivation to do it ever. And that's, that's, you know... Yeah.
Nice. That's cool. Glad you get that sorted. Yeah, I was about, yeah, I was about to say, like, what the fuck's a kid? There he is, I found him. <laughs> I pirate old games, colon three. I feel like every trans person I know is, like, really likes piracy. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, th th there's no morally wrong thing with it, even argue, n not, it's not even like a debate if it's morally acceptable or not, if the game is not being resold anyway, like ported or, you know, whatever. For example, Rehydrated exists, but Battle for Bikini Bottom, in its original form, does not exist in any modern sense. There's no actual way to purchase it. So there's literally nothing morally wrong with, like, pirating it. Dude, I'm like, I'm like actually like low on air. All real, this attic gets like stuffy and stuff, but yeah. Maybe I should like open a window and like breathe out of it for like 20 seconds. Prisoner of War 2. I assume it's uh, very rare then. Yeah, Lena. I know some people that would pirate games like Celeste and then buy them. They just want to try them first. But I will say, though, that people should be more honest. I hear a lot of people be like, um, Nintendo bad on the piracy front. And yeah, sure, like, they're really toxic about it, Nintendo are. But then they'll say things like, most people only pirate to make backups of games, and it's like, or like, they only mod the console to do that, and it's like, no, let's be real, you're lying to make your argument look better. You know for a fact that most people pirate to get stuff for free because they like free things, and you're just trying to make your argument better. Like, come on now, just be honest. It's like, so obvious. Yeah, no one dumps their fucking ROMs. No one does that. I, I've done it. I've done it once, and it was because, like, it didn't exist online. So, Chatter got me to, like, buy, like, a demo disc, and then I, and then I ripped it and then sent it to him. But generally, the vast majority of people don't do it. It's kind of annoying when YouTubers are just like... Uh, they make a video on like some retro handheld console thing. It's like, eh, well, there is like the moral part. And it's like literally no one cares. Not a single viewer cares. Yep. I could dump DS ROMs, but why would I when I could just download them like 10 times the speed and not have to worry about the SD card shit? The way that I see it, you know how I'm like quite a console purist? Uh, when it comes to emulation, if I own the game, then I usually can play the game all the same. I did a black and white Nuzlocke on my DS flash card, but I actually own black and white. Both of them. Oh, well then why didn't you just play on those? I didn't want to wipe my save files. But, like, I still own the games. I still paid for them. So it's like, you know. What people should definitely be avoiding, though, is buying counterfeit cartridges. You should definitely never do that. Oh my god, bro. G-Love get hit challenge. <laughs> 
Mm. Yeah, I have to dump my PS2 BIOS because to, to get PCSX2 running. <laughs> I was doing it to test bowl storage stuff, but it was pretty short lived. Who wants to be the tiki and I whack them? Me and who? Me and who? Bought a fake emerald and I never could save. Bruh. How's it going, my bell? Let me tell you something. Actually, hold on. Honestly, I'm really out of breath. Let me stick my face out of the window for like 20 seconds. Got some oxygen. Oxygen acquired. I would have stuck my face out for longer, but I saw a, some woman and she was kind of looking at me, so I was just like, bruh. I hate women. Um. <sighs> Basically, the reason why I'm very against counterfeit cartridges. Well, they were made to lie to the consumer. Like, they were never made as like, hey guys, here's like a cheap version, you know, they were always made to deceive. But that's not the actual reason. Let me tell you something, and this is not an exaggeration. Please take what I'm saying, like, seriously, right? When I was younger, I, go, go, I acquired a total of like... I would say I use probably at least, like, seven fake Fire Red cartridges. I would say seven, at least. And I kept playing them. And you might be saying, how the hell did you go through seven cartridges? Well, this is the part of the counterfeit thing. Uh, especially Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green counterfeits. They love to do this thing called deleting their save files all the fucking time. They like to do it all the time. So... Yeah, you can imagine how it's pretty fucking annoying. I never beat the game with any of them. They all did it before before it was too before uh, I could beat the game. And you might be thinking, oh, it was just fire red. I got a, I have a counterfeit leaf green, and it did the same exact thing. Um. I had a counterfeit uh, Super Mario 64 DS. It did the exact same thing. I had... Okay, how did that not work? I had... A counterfeit Pokemon Ruby. And guess what it did during the Elite Four? So basically, never fucking buy them. I see people on the, all the time on the internet just be like, eh, what's the difference? But it's like, dude, I know the difference better than fucking anyone. I know the difference. I'm telling you the difference. Is it risky to do slip and slides the speed runway? Isn't it Thunder Tiki's in the way? Oh, that's the problem. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Of course you can skip getting here as Patrick. Of course you can. Critics are slamming the Mario movie because they think... I mean, that- that would be misogynistic, not feminist, but yeah. I mean, well, 
I don't want to be spoiled about anything with the Mario movie because I am actually going to watch it in cinema. Which I, I, I guess I'll say that now because I, I haven't been to the cinema in years and I really want that experience again. If anybody spoils anything in the Mario movie, like, I'm unironically pim abandoning you. So I'm just letting you know that now. Um... When it comes to... The thing is, is that when it, when it comes to video game movies, critics are always wrong. That, like, that's, you know... They're always wrong. Their opinions do not matter, they are always wrong. Like... They always are just saying some fucking stupid bullshit. Well, one of the reviews for the Mario movie unironically said that the Mario movie is the only bad movie that Illumination has ever made. We know that that is objectively wrong. That is the most incorrect statement in the history of the entire world. So, you don't need to take him seriously. What matters is what is what the average consumer thinks. Not some fucking stupid critic. They don't matter. So, we matter, not them. They don't matter. Alright, so I'm done with this for now. So, yeah, I think that... Uh, I think now we just go to Poseidon. Venom, thank you for doing Brexit. It already happened. No way, guys. Hat Kid dies in the Mario movie. Pretty much, Lena, yeah. Reddit is, like, unironically goaded sometimes for some shit. Sometimes you can only find your answer on Reddit. It's kind of mad. Some people are just like, oh, I want Reddit to die, whatever. But, like, I don't because, like, they're so good at just giving you what you want. Sometimes they don't, but if they don't, a lot of websites don't as well. So it's not really, like, that big, you know. But they are so useful as, like, a last-ditch effort to try and find something. Also, they love piracy, which is pretty based. The robot's losing its head. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Well, yeah, like I said, I, like, to get this shit working, I had to use Elgato drivers that I couldn't find anywhere else except Reddit from, like, a few years ago. I wouldn't even be able to, I, I wouldn't, the gameplay would not look anywhere near this good. Fish moly. That thing looks fucking ugly as fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, I was facing the wrong way. It's fine, though. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match. I don't give a fuck, he's ugly. Like a mouse. This strapping lad. I, re I read strap and I thought you were gonna say something about like a strap on. I do it. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. This match is a match. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot. Oh no, where's he going? 
All right, we're fine. Well, I, I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be told, like, anything about the movie. Like, anything about how anything goes, or, like, what. You know. There could be a scene where, like, my, you know, you know how those movies have scenes where it's like, you're not my best friend anymore, they're so sad. And I mean, I, I don't even want to know if the movie has that. I want to know as little about the movie as humanly possible, is, is what I meant earlier. <sighs> okay. I think mid-game will be roughly the same as before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only difference with mid-game... Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna reload. Oh my god, I forgot about the text box not being there. I think the only difference with mid-game is gonna be... Um, I'm going to do uh, more of Museum because I can't do CCA. Because... For 100% completion, you need source requirements. There's no reason for me to do CCA, so I actually need to do more museum to get the artwork. Dude, that tree bull strat, like, never works if I'm doing it, I swear. Watch how the runners do it, they'll get it. If I do it, it doesn't work, bro. Anyway. Look at how much effort they put into this, by the way. It's fucking ridiculous. Obviously, in some parts, it's, like, really obviously, like, not... What's up with all those fucking squares down there? I don't know what that's about. But yeah, like, look how much effort's put into, like, all this shit around here. And rehydrated, it's all- you, it, I'm pretty sure it's not see-through. Which is kind of cringe. I, I know, at least in Krusty Krab, I know. Uh. What, what was it? What, oh yeah, Mimola. Hello, Latte. I don't know, I just wanted to. I don't really have much of a reason. Toad gives Mario a map that leads him to Luigi's mansion, but there's a mirror that transports him into a weird world where evil Mario be like, let's us stay and they have a fight. The f well, that definitely doesn't sound like something that would happen, but it would be kind of funny. <laughs> Let's us stay. I want that. I want that to be in the movie now. <laughs> Let's us stay. They would. He would so. Okay. If there ever were an evil Mario in the Mario movie, he would definitely fucking say "Let's us stay." He would so say that. Movie. 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 As a kid, I was so certain that you had to, like, destroy all these, like, computer things, because they turn red when you smack them. So I always thought that you had to, like, do that for a sock or something, but no, you don't get a sock for it. Also, this shit's faster doing, like, game with a cruise bubble, but I don't know if you can do it without Hans Sable, so, uh... We're just gonna do it a casual way. Uh, a big, fat, plump ass. Am I right? Yeah, I knew I knew I was right. I don't know if that's what you wanted me to say, but still spinning facts, bro. So Mimil is gonna be basically the identical, except I need to grab one more sock, but it's not reasonable to grab her until I have Kurubu. So it's gotta be left to later, and I could very well get hit. So it is risky, but yeah. These nets. There we go. I said what do you what you want me to say? These nets. These nets. I like how the loads are so fast on hard drive that it j you can just fucking reload twice.
no way Bubble Bass made a fucking Bubble Bass reference in the Mario movie. I, I would I would love that. D's D's nuts go ham. Oh, do you want me to sing that? D nuts go ham. Is that good for you? Hooray! Funnel. Anyone want to funnel in my machines? I don't think that even makes sense. They don't want to do that though. At, at, at least, at le I was expecting you to say something in like Batman, but not a man or something. But at least you said with a C instead. Of the... You know, there's that. Are you finally given up on me being a girl? Do I? Uh, I kind of want that spatula now. I don't know if I need it. No, I grabbed an extra spatula. I don't really need it. I feel like. I forgot the sock again. Not exactly. Well, I mean, it came out today, didn't it? I'm going to be, uh... I'll be watching it in cinemas, but not, like, now. I need to probably order a new sim to another thing about it. Also, um... No worries, Lena. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Well, I meant, like, it'd be faster to grab it later, is what I meant. I, like, I don't think I need it for 40 spatulas for Industrial Park, because I have an extra spatula already, so I don't think I need it. It should be faster to grab it later. <laughs> Movie 2.0 when this game came out first. <laughs> Like a mouse. Nah, I was just being cringe. Like a boss. Like a boss. I'm so glad the rock bottom doesn't have like socks all the way over there or anything. Thank god. This part of rock bottom is like really dumb and flawed, but yeah, nah, like it's great for speedrunning and just like doing challenges. Because now it could just. You know, I don't have to worry about that shit. It'd be really forgettable if there was socks there. But luckily, I can just sort of sand the air right now, bro. Um, the only thing is I don't know exactly where the drop point is. It is over here. It makes me so mad that socks in this game, like... When they come towards you, you can warp away and they'll still count, but extras don't work like that, even though, like, they're programmed to be, like, basically identical to socks. <laughs> Did you hear the fucking slide music just then? <laughs> Bam, 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 and just, uh, 
Okay. Oh, so you can tell, like, how much, like, these couple extra socks and spatulas are weighing in, because... My timer going into Industrial Park was, like, 58 minutes last time, but now I'm 53 minutes into Rock Bottom, and I still need to do Museum. Like, uh, the additional part of Museum I didn't have to do before. Definitely get hit there. Hello, Vikram. How are you doing today? Um, if that's what you're doing, then that is cool. It is cool that uh, that emulator has gotten so advanced now. Although, obviously, it still has a long way to go. No, I want to do museum first, actually. Yeah, I know. That, that's why I was saying it's cool that it's advanced so much to the point where, like, you, you know, you can use it somewhat reasonably. Did I get the box? No. This... There we go. I don't know why I wasn't going into the... Why I wasn't activating the box. Okay, cool. So, museum is going to be a bit more scary this time. I'm really waiting for Zemu to have, uh, task tools. That'd be great. Maybe somebody will make a movie test then. Maybe, hopefully. One thing I hate about the museum is that it just randomly spawns enemies when you clear the path. So where'd you guys even come from? You know? <laughs> It really sucks the spatula the restrictions have me even doing rock bottom uh, this early in the first place. It just gotta be done. Even with the extra couple spatulas, it's just like not enough. I gotta do a lot of. It. I, mean, I, I probably don't have to do all of this early, but at that point, it's just probably better to do it a lot of it early. Okay, so... That's cool then. But now I need, I need to do more of this than last time, because I need to actually go and grab the socks and stuff. How long? Well, my run was like an hour 48 if you're talking about damage loss.
Oh god, this part's gonna fucking suck. Oh wait, no it's not, you just go around, okay. <laughs> this sh uh, oh god, there's a chuck. This, this place is kind of dangerous. Yeah, I could definitely see myself eventually getting hit here if I have to come back. I think I'll be fine. Oh god, it's you. I don't even think Sandy can lasso him. I think I'm fucked. I don't know. Um, Maybe it'll be okay. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, I think you would do this one to maximize the... And then, you get, yeah, you get, like, a billion shinies. But now this guy's in the way. Oh, there's still artwork over there. Ugh, that sucks. I could come back here with Bob and cruise boost my way through, but I, that might be a bit risky. I, I feel like I might as well just probably get artwork now. But, dude, mm, I don't know. That thundercloud... Okay, I don't need to be here anymore. Okay, so museum's finally done. That's good. That's too risky. I'm gonna go around. I don't know if Sandy can ledge grab up there and, like, get around. That'd make my life way easier, but I just do not know if she can do that. Oh, wait, I should be Spongebob. Uh, yeah, I do. Shadow. It's in the BFB, uh, it's in the theater as well, because it's like concept art. I don't know what the hell they were originally planning with the game, but clearly something weird. I remember this challenge being really hard as a kid, but I haven't failed it at all. Um, since uh, playing this. Okay, so you're gonna have to... Okay. Oh, I have to pay for, to get that stupid sock. I'll probably do it later. Um, what I will do for now is grab the sock so I don't forget. Although, I, I do need to keep in mind that there's artwork over there. So maybe I should just go now anyway. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Spongebob is hard to control. That's my issue with it. Can't see me from here. Hmm. So, basically, my concern... So, you can hit that button over there... With cruise bubbles, so that would be that. That would be, you know, I can cheese that, and then I can at least hit. I think this duplicator charm with cruise bubble, so it probably is. But then I can't get the artwork spatula now. I guess it doesn't matter though. I guess I should just like focus on what I, sh you know. Oh, look at that! Mm, how am I gonna get over there? I might be able to- oh, I could probably just do that. Wow, this game is really fucking- t <laughs> Okay. Also, you know how I cheese that one spatula? I would have to go through all this. Like, this one part where, like, you practically have to get hit as Sandy. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to do- cause you're, you're expected to obviously go over there as Sandy. I don't know, like, what the fuck they were thinking. Dude, how the hell is this gonna work? Oh. Okay, well, that was- that was pretty easy. Oh, yeah. I liked the Spongebob challenges as a kid in Flimlock and all the- I think the only ones I didn't like were just, like, 
combat, but that's kind of to be expected. I remember I, I was worried about playing combat, so I upgraded everything. I upgraded everything to prepare for it, and then you should have seen the fucking look on my face. When... What's it called? Yeah, well, when I found out it was just like a joke challenge. Alright, so I can't do artwork just yet. Ah, oh, jellyfish can't hit me. Um, Alright, I think now we go to dream. Oh, wait, I forgot about this thing. Well, if I'm already here, then I... Oh, no, okay, I guess, I guess we are doing this. Nah. Jellyfish can't get me. We're all good. Bruh. Oh, wait, I just walked to the third one. Oh, you were talking about fucking plank combat. I was being really stupid, my bad. I thought you were talking about the jellyfish next to the thing. Never mind. But yeah, I was talking about the jellyfish. Like, I, it, like, yeah, I was pretty unhappy when I saw it was a big fucking joke spatch, uh, joke token because I just I upgraded everything in advance, knowing how hard Nathom in combat was. And I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be like the hardest challenge ever, man! I need to upgrade everything. And then I was like, jellyfish, like, it must be a trap. And then it was like, oh well. And Patrick as well, you know, it was definitely a trap. Patrick probably gets captured or something, but nah. That would've been really cool. You do, like, a wave with Patrick, and then he gets, like... And he gets captured, and then you have to do the rest of Spongebob. That'd be really cool, because then you get to use both characters. In in battle, if somebody made, like, a custom combat arena, having a wave per character would be really cool. Like, that, that'd be, like, the best way to utilize combat, I feel like. Combat's a pretty lazy challenge, to be honest, but, like, that'd make it a lot better. You know something I just realized? I could have done Swingers, like, a lot earlier, and I really should have. I should have done it immediately after Poseidon. Because Swingers is quite hard, and I, there is a good chance I will get hit, and I just completely forgot about it. So, yeah, no. Uh, I will probably get hit. So after this, then, I will be changing it so that, um, right after Poseidon, immediately go to do, um, Swingers. I mean, wh when you run one of the games and then go to the other one, like, every everyone makes that mistake of saying the wrong thing. Same with Shinies and Manlies. Every, like, runner does that. I need to focus a lot for this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this game is really fucking awesome, man. That was fair. That was really fair. 
Yep, my fault. My fault. Why the fuck does the fucking Tata just stay on the ground? That's so bullshit. People complain about fucking Papa as a movie. What the fuck was that bullshit? I wasted so much time because I just didn't do swingers immediately. Because when a Tata robot shoots its shots, they stay on the ground for a few more seconds, and I, and I just didn't put, turn the camera around because I needed to keep an eye on the chuck, and then I just- it was still there for a second when, and when I touched it. So stupid. How the hell are you- are you reasonably expected to do that challenge without taking damage? That's, like, so fucking dumb. If I did that, then the challenge would be over in like two attempts. So XD. When it, the thing is with a game is that like a game, every game is, is gonna have like some tiny thing about it that's probably like unfair, unless it's literally made for babies. Poppers in movie, uh, like, they have better aim, and, and they're harder to kill, but, like, Jesus, man. Why, like, imagine if Papa shots, like, landed on the ground and stayed there, that kind of suck. Like, they are worse enemies overall, but, like, the, why can Tata robots do that? Oh, yeah, you can reflect, uh, Chuck shots, right? I mean, I guess, but Papa's are usually, like... It, the issue is usually other enemies near Papa's, you know? So yeah, the route's being changed, so I do swingers immediately. I might even, I might even change the route to get 50, 15 spatulas immediately so that I can do swingers as quickly as possible. I might honestly do that. I might just leave some stuff later just so I can do that. As long as it's not, like, slower to get it later, I'm thinking of doing that. So, entering downtown, I would have seven spatulas, but I would have enough for a Patrick spat, I think. So, I have eight, and then I might get Squid's house and thingy and then go to Gula... Nah, I don't know if it's worth going to Gula Goon immediately. I think I should do, uh... After JF, I could have upwards of ten spatulas, so... Then I think I should go to downtown... And do, like, everything there I can, and then I'll have 15, I think, and then I can just go to Poseidon. I think I should do Gulagoon later. We know what to expect it now, and it's the exact same as before. JF and Downtown have increased in difficulty, while Gulagoon remains exactly the same, and it's not hard. Like, the only part that could even realistically pose an issue is, like, bumper boats, but, like, it's really... It's, like, hardly any more difficult than fucking, like, Drain the Lake.
Yeah, no worries. Do you have, like, are you far into the playthrough? Yeah. All right, pretty early then. What I will say about like those games is that if like Fire Red and Leaf Green like didn't exist, and let's go Pikachu and Eevee, and, and you know, if Kanto only existed in the form of Red, Blue, and Yellow, the game is still surprisingly fun to this day. It has like a billion issues, but like it's surprising like how good it actually is without factoring like remix and stuff. I feel a little bit of nostalgia when I play it, even though, obviously, I didn't even play the game as a kid. Well, my uncle gave me his copy of Pokemon Yellow when I was younger, so I actually did play it as a kid, but hardly. Only had it for, like, a couple years or something until I turned into a teenager. It's not really- Kanto's not really that good in Gold and Silver, I feel like, but I, I guess, yeah, I guess you could remove it from Gold and Silver for this argument- for the sake of argument. It, it, it's basically, it's just really surprising how good, like, it actually is. Like, in its own right. And, like, it feels good to play it. It's just that it has a lot of problems. But apparently the dev team was small, and the scale of the game was really big for games on the Game Boy back then. So, what do you expect, you know? Yeah, it's absolutely busted. It's based off the base speed of the Pokémon. So, for example... So, the universal crit rate until, like, Gen 7 or something is 6.25%. In Gen 1, Snorlax's crit rate is barely below the universal 6.25 from Gen 2 onwards. But actually crits a tiny bit less often. However, a Pokémon like Mewtwo crits about a quarter of the time. And that is based off base speed, so it doesn't even affect, like, getting paralyzed or whatever. There's also a, ha a billion other problems, too. Like, um... This game is good. If you get frozen, you're frozen forever unless you get hit by a fire move. Or Haze, or, uh, an Ice Heal or a Full Heal. If you paralyze and use Agility, it negates the, the paralyzed speed drop, uh, and then gives you the Agility boost. So it just ignores it. If you use focus energy, it actually decreases your crit chance for some fucking reason. Every single move in the game has a 1 in 256 chance to miss. Or it might be 1 in 255. But yeah, it has a 1 in 255 or 6 chance to miss. No matter what the move is, unless it's swift. Even moves like rest have a chance to miss. Oh, I thought you needed- it. I was just checking to see if you needed- I guess you don't need Hans disabled for that. I don't really know if that saves time, though. Oh, I know it does. Yeah, no, that actually saves time. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. It saves time because instead of needing to go this way twice, I only need to go this way once. 
So yeah, small time save for every run though. I'm so sorry, Shadow. Please forgive me, Brev. Oh yeah. On uh, bicycle, on you know when uh, you try to get past, like the the bicycle guard person doesn't let you pass into cycling road. If you just keep holding left while in there, then you can just get through without a bicycle. You don't even need it. There's like a weird move prior priority system, and it doesn't take dual typing into account. So basically, something could get hit by a move that is neutral because of the typings, it makes it neutral overall. Because one type is super effective again, and one it resists. But then it, it might say super effective or not very effective, depending on like the priority system of the moves. Of the typings in the game. There's some translation errors with, like, trading the correct, you know. I think in Pokemon Yellow in particular, I think it's like, oh, my my Arcanine or whatever evolved, and it's like, Arcanine can't evolve. Or it might have been some other Pokemon, but yeah, it, it, there's a translation error, and it basically just said, like, my fully evolved Pokemon just evolved, you know. Um, there were only three ghost types in Gen 1, and there's, like, no usable ghost moves. And all the ghost types are pot poison, for some reason. Um, also, there's only three dragon types, and there's only one dragon move, and it's bad. Um... The psychic typing is extremely broken. And it has effectively no weaknesses, because it's only weak to bug, but there's no good bug moves. I think the best bug move in the game is like Twin Needle. It's really bad. Trust me, there's like 5,000 more small problems with the quirks of the game. I don't remember them all. There's also like all the glitch Pokemon and stuff, but though like those uh, obviously you need to really go out of your way for those. Although the glitch Pokemon are really fucking cool. It's kind of annoying, though. So, you know, missing no, and how it duplicates, uh, like, the seventh slot in your bag or something like that. So you make it, like, Master Balls or Ray Candies or whatever. In red and blue, it's pretty easy to get the missing no, but in yellow, the game crashes the majority of the time when you try to encounter missing no. And it's, it takes, you can't use the same method of, you have to use a slower method of getting missing no. So the method is just, like, really fucking slow. Like... The method is really slow, uh, and the game has, like, a good chance to crash. Let me try to do it. That's a good question. I don't know if that'd be hard. That'd be really hard in Robo Sponge, but I'm not sure about anywhere else. I don't think people would be interested in watching it, though. That's the only thing. But that probably could be of some interest. BFB try to not give you a sign to read every four seconds challenge.
Movie mix damage loss when? Haha, <laughs> get it because it's not out. I can't play it. Get it, guys. What are we mixing today? That'd be physically impossible. Although, if you made an exception for those view, like maybe if you made a mod so that all the all the unlockables are zero coins, maybe it'd be possible. Then maybe I don't know. It'd be really, really, really hard, but I, it probably would be possible if you, after the modification. Can you do BFB Shiny Loss? I don't think you can. Actually, no, 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 you could. You'd have to use, like, glitches and stuff, but, like, no, I, I, I think I'm pretty sure you could. There are a lot of robot interaction... A lot of robot interactions, but you can skip a lot of them. Even stuff you can't skip, like Lighthouse, you can just avoid because there's a lot of shiny... Uh, there's a lot of spatulas. Although then, you're immediate, you immediately can't get, uh... You immediately can't get crab spatulas, which would suck. You also can't pay for any clams. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Thank you, Mr. Krebs. Why does it require pre-run setup? Society of movie manliness was possible. A oh, manly less. Yeah, it's not even close to possible, and it never will be without pause storage. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I forgot about that. So it's possible, except for the very beginning of the game. That's pretty ironic. Uh oh. I got really good RNG. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, combo storage. Hello, I just got here. What's up with damage those BFB and subway surfers? First of all, I'll be doing well, Raiden. And second. Uh, I- BFB damaged us was a sub-goal. I did it on April Fools, failed, and then I tried it again yesterday. I got it, and now I want to do 100%. As for the Subway Surfers, firstly, it was ironic, but now it's just to keep people's attention whenever I have to reset back to the beginning. Squirtle can't hit tackle to save his life. Bro can't hit a 95% accurate move. Skullface.
so true, Latte. You know what's funny as well? A lot of people reset runs while they have Hans di already disabled, but they have to disable him again or else it's pre-run setup. But it's kind of interesting. Like, Hans is already disabled when the run begins. We just gotta pretend that he's not. Three times in a row. Jesus Christ. One in 20, one in 400, one in... 6,000? Or is it 600? I can't math right now. That's I think... No, wait, no. That'd be a one in eight, not one in six. Thing, yeah. I think that's either one in 800 or one in 8,000. I can't math right now. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where those shinies came from just then, but I will happily accept them. I'm pretty sure you can jump over there, but it might... I think that spawns the Tata robots, so it's best I don't do that. Throwing fruit electric is yeah. The issue is the issue with throwing fruit electric is that a casual is probably gonna get back there at different times every single time, so they can't predict the cycle properly. It's obviously easier when you just keep getting back at the same time, because then you know what to do. I'm not doing that. There's like actually something to gain from this challenge. There's nothing to gain from something like that. Oh, I have nine socks. Well, I can go and... Okay, so I have effectively have nearly 10 spatulas, because I will do Squid's House as well. So I only need five spatulas here, which is basically what I do anyway. Or I, I guess six, I think. No, I, I... Yeah, no, no, I guess six. And I only need five. Well, there's no re there's no reason to pay me to do it if it's already been proven possible as a thing. I mean, everybody knew that BFB damage loss was possible, but the fact of the matter is that no one had done it before. Which is why, and it was like, well, it wasn't even Smiley that had the bounty; it was uh, someone else. Uh, uh, Daft. No, I downloaded random gameplay off of YouTube. Oh my god, I almost got hit by a sink. That's hard to answer. Maya Bell, because this is on, like, a... This is a lower... This game is on... I mean, movie's on, like, a lesser scale, because it just, like... There's less tokens, so like, there's less things to do. I like the concept of the upgrade system, even if I think they fucked it up. Um... One thing... I mean, it's, like, pretty, usually pretty minor things with that game. For some reason in this game, Goo just doesn't damage you, which is really dumb. But, like, it does a movie. Movie has, like, a slightly different control scheme, and I do prefer it. I, uh... I really like, uh, extras for giving you, like, concept on stuff instead of being able to... Instead of paying, like, a massive toll. Um... Oh, it's hard to think when I'm... 
pounding some tiki's. Again, it's all just like minor stuff, like different costumes give you like different walking animations and stuff like that. And SpongeBob and Patrick generally are wearing slightly different things in levels. It's just cool. Just, it's just like, it's just cool, you know? Um. It has more cool promotional material to look at if that's seen as a positive. <laughs> um, I like that the game is harder. I just think they took it too far. But I, I do like that, you know. And, like, because this game, like, is pretty handholdy sometimes. Whereas with that game, they, like, hardly ever do that. It's more no-nonsense. They kind of just tell you stuff in, like, text boxes that just appear and disappear. Which is pretty nice. Also, uh, Spongebob. I like the addition of Spongebob challenges. It, Spongebob in movie is, like, a little heavier, but it definitely it definitely feels better, and I'm glad there's, like, a more of a specific purpose for it. I definitely think it was the right move. Come on, bro. Also, Patrick is actually, like, good. Patrick, Patrick is, like, so fucking bad in this game, and he's a god in movie. He's, probably, he's arguably better than Spongebob. But Spongebob also got buffs, so they're pretty balanced now compared to, like... S casually, Sandy is clearly, like, the best, and then Spongebob by, like, a decent... You know, there's a decent gap between the two in terms of how good they are, but still... They're not too far apart, and then you just have fucking Patrick, whereas, like, in Battle and Movie, they're more, like... It's just the two characters, but they're a lot closer in terms of, like, quality, I feel, or in terms of, like, how good they actually are and how enjoyable they are to play. Dude, can I please get the fucking Thunder Tiki, like, actually? This game... There we go, fucking Jesus. You know, the worst part is, I can't remember if I got the, uh... I can't remember if I got the wheel over here. Good poison? No, poison doesn't affect accuracy. I do like the idea as well of like the sliding and driving levels. Like with with mo there's like a there's like they tried more to give you like a bigger variety of like gameplay. And I think like if there were more levels and less repetitive segments, I really feel like that would have worked out like super well. Uh, but that's what hacks are for. That's why I feel like hacks are generally best made in movie because it just has more things that you can do with it. That sounds... I'm being able to... I swear to god, there's poison... I swear poison has nothing to do with that. But like, then how would that be happening? I, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Are you sure it's poison? Not like something else? Another one. 
I, I've literally never heard of Poison doing that in Gen 1, and I know a decent amount about the generation, so I, I just don't understand, like, how that could be happening. I feel like I'm more knowledgeable than the average person with the gen, at least. If you've ever watched me do rooftops this way and think it's... Wow, yeah, okay. This game is good, by the way. Yeah, that was cool. Wait, how, I, did, mm, cool. The, the, the fucking... The number of things that have gone wrong today that simply didn't happen when I was less knowledgeable is ridiculous. It's really starting to get to me now. The game is just being more unfair today than the other two days, so it's frustrating because I already, like, I know how to avoid certain issues. And yeah, I still just get fucked in a way I've never seen before. It's, it's fucking, it's just, ugh. Uh, you type in, like, YouTube to NP4. You have to use, like, a, probably, like, a... There's, like, a bunch of websites that you can use, but, like, some of them are more sketched than others. I think my, the one I used was called, like, Y2Mate or something like that. Um, and then it'll give you quality options for download. You can also download videos if you have YouTube Premium, but, like, no. Not getting YouTube Premium. They will have fun playing BFV. I didn't necessarily expect fun, but I expected the game to be as fair as the other days. Which it is not. For some reason. Thank you for the good luck, Wolf. I appreciate it. How you doing today? Also, I was, I was falling for so long and didn't pause because I was just completely fucking shocked that that happened because it just shouldn't have. The, what I was trying to say before that happened was that if you feel like the way I'm doing rooftops is slow, it was the way that we used to do it back in 2018. I was just gonna say that, like, that's just how we always had to... Downtown as a split was like nine minutes or something back when I ran the game, but now it's like way shorter. And is usually split up into multiple segments. But we used to just do everything in one go and with downtown. We never came back except for come back with a cruise bubble. Come back with a cruise bubble is like so fucking fast and yet it got routed out. And wheels are really fast too and they still got routed out just because of sea needle being really bad and requiring shinies. <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. Needleless has been a thing, though, since 2018, which is mad. I think, like, summer 2018, maybe? It's hard to remember for sure. Okay. Um... You could try downloading a different, like... You know, because this 32 and 64 bit, but I don't know if that'll do anything. I just need to use a different recorder.
Oh, I zoomed in. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh boy, I love using Patrick's, uh, allow me to hold the B button down. What is this? Nothing is happening. Hmm, it appears that I have acquired malaria. Also, fun little fact, the, the, the OG controller I'm using right now... Uh, the OG controller I'm using right now is the same controller that I used back in 2018 when I was running this game. Fun fact. Exact same one. It's the only one I have that's actually, like, in good condition. <laughs> well, I say good condition, it's the only one that's fucking usable. This condition is okay. Oh my god, man. Fuck off. Are you ready, kid? Why did it fucking appear so quickly? It's been like seven for him, but yeah, it's a long time. A lot of people can't put up with this game for long enough. Hello, Kira. How are you doing today? I. Did you see me have ice pop yesterday? I had ice pop. But yeah, e even the really good players like Rubito, uh. he, he doesn't play like that much. So it's like, you know, I, I, I feel like, you know, because of just how, yeah, again, people just can't put up with it. I feel like the game is probably just not worth playing at like a at like a super super high level unless like you're doing like full time streaming. I was working. Fuck. Nice one, bruv. Frog. You mean frogfish? Like the category, the boss, like actual frogs. Like, <laughs> what do you mean?
Did you see my? Did you hear my conclusion of my prime? How, how what I what I thought about it, Kira? Oh, you just asked my flavor ranking. Um, reader's interpretation, then frogfish RTA. Bad. All right, moving on. So my favorite is red. Then it might be ice pop. It's super super close, but I think it's ice pop, then blue, then green. I think that's the ranking. I still need to have KSI Prime. Mango for me is very hit or miss, so it's uh, it could easily be the best flavor, or it could easily be the worst. The only one way to find out. There's a yellow one apparently. Came out recently. And it's lemon, even though they already have lemon lime. So I don't know how different it's gonna be, but it could be good. It could be. It would they were probably just like, fuck, we can't think of any more flavors, bro. Let's just re let's just uh let's just make one that's like basically the same so we get more money. <laughs> it looks good though, the design. It's like a pretty bright yellow, but it looks pretty good, honestly. How many have you had? Oh, have you only had the blue one? It's- it's lemon lime, Peter. Never- I'm probably never playing movie reverse or whatever, I don't think it's different enough to play. Uh, I- Miner and Spa. But they first came out in Asda. They're supposed to be in Asda, but they get scalped really bad, so you'll like never actually see them in Asda. Apparently, they're in Sainsbury now, too. I still need to have orange and grape, but yeah. I liked blue the more I had it, but red was like an instant hit with me. I, I really dig the. Yeah. Scalpers are fucking mad, bro. I- I was on, uh, Vinted yesterday and somebody was selling a GTX 1060 for, like, fucking 65 quid. During, like, the scalping, people probably re re resorted to, like, 1060s and stuff, but then they were probably getting scalped too, so I'd imagine- I bet those- even those were expensive two years ago. I was fortunate to get a graphics card during the scalping. I, I got mine on, like, December 28th or something like that of 2020. But I had to be- you know that server stock informer and it pings you immediately when there's a listing? I had to use that and it took ages. You'd click as fast as you possibly could yeah, and you have good internet and you still just wouldn't be able to buy fast enough. So when, when I finally got the winning one, right, when I finally got the one that I bought, got pinged, inst I clicked on it. I clicked on it. Um, my throat hurts. I clicked on it, and all I could see was I was a thirty seventy, and I could see the price, and I couldn't see anything else. I just had to immediately buy it. I bought it for retail price of a thirty eighty, even though it's literally a thirty seventy. Granted, it wasn't a founder's edition. It was a. It has RGB and. Uh, it has three fans when the default 3070 has two fans, and it doesn't need that stupid, like, 12-pin connector or the fuck. Or whatever pin it was, whatever the cringe one was. I don't- it didn't need it. Yeah. I agree. Like with Prime. Shit, like when people scalp it, it's like 12 pound a bottle or something. It's 
actually insane. Even though they're literally supposed to be two pound. And the spa that I get them from sells them for three pound. So it's technically slightly scalped, but... At least it's from, like, a smaller shop and not a big fucking shop like Asda. Well, I assume it means, like, no weenies are allowed to park in the- because it's the tough guy area. I think it's a pretty good name, bro. I think it's a pretty good name. Gotta take that Red Prime to the theater premiere. <laughs> of the Mario movie. Nah, bro, I'd actually get fucking robbed. I, unless you bring an empty bottle, I'd probably get robbed, so... So, here's the thing, right? And I've always found this kind of silly, but it actually makes sense of Prime, so... My parents, they don't- they always tell you to, like, hide stuff in the back of the car seats or whatever, so that people don't look inside the car. And keep in mind, the car's really expensive, and you're like, bro, you're telling me to, like, hide, like, my 10-pound fucking headphones or whatever, because somebody might break into the extremely expensive car to get the 10-pound headphones. But with Prime, it would absolutely actually happen, so you actually should hide Prime. Like, completely, like, unironically, like, you really should. Absolutely could see it happening. Boob tube smashing boob and up Chocolate Creek are good examples. DS- people probably would do it for DS's back when they were popular. I could see that. You know what's kind of sad? The 3DS is probably the last DS that'll ever exist. The hybrid is working too well. Like, the Switch. Like, they, they, they're probably not gonna make a DS ever again. Unless they made, like, a Switch Mini, which would just be, like, a DS. But I, I don't think they're gonna do that. I, I think the 3DS is the end of it. And when did the 3DS come out? Like, 2011 or 2012 or something? I forget. It came out a long time ago. Put it like that. Twenty eleven, yeah, exactly. That was so long, dude. I remember getting my DS. I don't remember when I got it. It might have been twenty eleven. It might have been twenty. It, there's no way it was later than, than. I got it for Christmas, but I don't know if it was twenty twelve or not. It might have been twenty twelve. Either way, like I remember. And then the very next day, I remember buying Mario Kart Seven at a great time. <laughs> That console was so good when it came out, dude. Because it had so many good games. You could play the DS library as well. It was great, dude. Fucking love the 3DS. But there's, pro there's probably not going to be another DS. And even if there were, what the fuck are you going to call it? What's this gimmick? What's it going to do? It's just going to be a powerful a powerful system with two dual screen. But, like, that doesn't really, you know. There's no point. It makes third-party support harder, because some games just don't really- can't really do much with the dual screens. It makes it harder to justify certain games existing on there in the first place, and some games have to have some stupid gimmick that makes them worse than they otherwise would be. You know how many games make you just do stupid shit with the Wii U gamepad and just makes the game worse, you know? Stuff like that. Some games make it better, though. You remember Zombie U? That game was, like, basically only good because it was on Wii U, and then when they were- when it was on Switch, they called it- or the consoles, they called it Zombie. It says Zombie U, and it was just like, it was just not, it was just generic zombie game when they, it re so sometimes the gimmick can help, but sometimes it really just doesn't. Pink 3DS. Okay, I don't know why the robot died just then. Yeah, wait, yeah, that was, the Tata robot killed himself. That's very strange. I don't know how that happened. Um... Oh yeah, I, rem I remember that, my bell. 
Those little cow- I, I might still have them, I'm not sure. It really was a great console. I'm not gonna lie, like, it really was good. It's just that, like, on release it just wasn't doing very good. It was too expensive and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Luigi's Mansion movie. I feel like that's probably- something like that's probably not gonna happen unless the Mario movie's, like, a massive success. I don't know where these free shinies are coming from. <laughs> the 3DS kind of, like... I feel like if, if you're going to buy a DS that isn't the 3DS, I feel like the only other good one is the DS Lite, because it can play GBA games. Uh, uh. So DS Lite and 3DS are, like, the kings, in my opinion. different consoles. Well, yeah, in particular, like, a new 2DS XL or something is probably what you want. I think is a monster. And there's no reason to get a new 3DS XL. You should just get a new 2DS XL. TBH, but... Yeah. What? This game is bad. I already did you. I'll just do some shit now. One hundred. I already did any. I f that for some reason, Dingo, that information doesn't surprise me, which makes me think I already knew, but I feel like I didn't already know. I don't know. Maybe I did know. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know. Pizza. Because I said so. Well, I mean, I have to play it anyway. I, I met the thing for it. Dude, after I did Damageless, I owed 20 sub goals as opposed to 21, and then, and then two more immediately got met. So... I now, I owe 22 sub goals, and I will never get to zero. And what does Zilkus get? Paid. 
boss music. Kill boss music. Obama gaming. Obama. Come on, bro. There we go. <laughs> Obama. Soda! Have you seen the variant of that where, for some reason, the Obama part is the same and then he's just like, Squid Games! Like, why? Like, like, who, why, who would think of that? What's really funny, though, about the meme... ...is that... ...Biden didn't actually say soda, obviously, he said Minnesota, but it's just funny because... ...Trump actually said Obama, and there was actually, like, a two-second gap after he said it. I just think it's really funny that, like, one of them's, like, cut out, but the other one's, like, actually just intact. Like, exactly how it went. He's just like, Obama. There we go. This is like a minute ahead of last time. Maybe a bit less than that. You can pay for that. Is twenty bones? Here is another one. Twenty D's. Oh, I thought those websites were free. At least, like. I remember this website where you could use, like, Spongebob and Homer and stuff, and I remember it being free. But it didn't say, like, oh yeah, pay to get more characters. I, I don't know if it's, like, I don't know. I, I, my memory's pretty... ...bad. You know, you know what that means, then? You know what that means? You can literally... You can literally just, like, make one of those, like, uh, the presidents play Minecraft accounts, and you'll get really popular, and then you'll make back the money that you spent on the AI, and then you'll make more, more money, and then you'll be swimming in cash. Granted, you claim the fame will just be some content that every person on the planet makes, so... And it's good. The thing is, right, with those presidents things... Right? I feel like the thing is, like, we YouTube, you're supposed to broadcast yourself, as the old logo thing went. Whenever I see one of those tr uh, Trump, Biden, whatever things, I I never look at the channel names. I don't know what channels make the content, because they, they're they all the same, effectively. One of them could disappear, and you'd have absolutely zero idea that that happened. You wouldn't, you wouldn't suspect a thing. Ah, you said sus. You wouldn't suspect a thing. Which is why the, the, I don't like the content, because it's so fucking generic and just bad. In terms of, like, originality, creativity. Because, like, it's, it's a little funny for a laugh, but, like, again, it could disappear and you would never know. That's what I don't like. I feel like it goes against the spirit of old YouTube, at least. Mr. Obama becoming uncanny. Thank you. Ah, oh, fuck. That doesn't really matter, I only lost a couple seconds, but... 
Old YouTube was base. You just have like, oh my god, my Sky does Minecraft uploaded. Let's go, bros. Oh my god, my my uh, Cad Icarus and some call me Johnny did a collab on why they hate Sonic 06 or some shit. I don't know. Wait, wait those are good old days, bro. Give me, give me, give me the day, give me the days of the old. I need them. Oh my god, bro. They tried so that person. You know the Charlie bit my finger video. They they tried to sell that as an NFT like a few years ago. I don't know if it went through, but they tried to do it at least. I think Caddy makes good content now. I'm just saying, like, it, it, it's it. You know, life was simpler like when you're younger. You know what I mean? I I like the I I dude. I wish you could still rate videos like five stars or whatever. You remember when you could do that? Why can't you do that anymore? It's kind of stupid. And I, and I miss when you could see uh, the number of likes and the number of dislikes. No, I'm not talking even just on YouTube videos. I'm talking about on fucking YouTube comments. That hasn't been a thing for ages. And my question is, why not? It doesn't matter if something has 500 likes if it has like 400 dislikes, but I don't fucking know that, do I? I don't know how many likes it has. I know about the extension, Latte. I got it, like, straight away. I was talking about comments. I haven't watched Some Call Me Johnny in a really long time. Um, but I respect him. I used to watch him all the time. Do you ever watch his, like, Sonic hacking contest videos? Those are really cool. Also, like I said earlier, I'm doing Poseidon now so I can do swingers immediately. It's slightly slower to do it now because it technically be best to do tree dome first, but nah, I'm just doing swingers. I have enough shinies for it, so. Or I, I will. Actually, will I? There's like no shinies. No, 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 I can get the 300 stack in Sandy's. Yeah, yeah, be fine. <laughs> you, uh, YouTube d dislike would, uh, yeah, YouTube dislike extension would like to, uh, read your credit card information, um, look through your camera, and spy on you. Um, uh, be able to, t uh, to record your keystrokes, and then, uh, use it to blackmail you. And, yeah, that's about it. That sounds good to me. If I had splits for this, I'd call this sandwich driving, unfortunately. Uh, splits. Because I'm making the route up on the fly. Kind of. Well, not totally, but I already have made a routing change. Pornhub cookies. Yeah. They need to watch- they need to see you watching those, like, Femboy fucks pumpkin videos on- on Pornhub. <laughs> no, bro. I didn't mean to do that, bro. Wow, there we go. I've never seen such an electrifying match. <laughs> this can't be. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it works good for me. 
It, like, basically... I've only seen a couple videos where it just won't tell me the dislikes for some reason. But otherwise, it's been completely fine. That, I hated using mobile because, obviously, I didn't have that privilege. But now I use uh, an equivalent to YouTube Vanced. And it, re and it returns the dislikes. Well, it still sometimes doesn't work, but a lot of the time it does. It's pretty great. Fuck, we're good, we're good. The one I have for Chrome is uh, Return YouTube Dislikes. It's uh, its specific name. Alright, we're doing this shit like straight away. Fuck you, Tree Dome. Yeah, it was probably sketch then, but a lot of people just don't care. Or, like, they just don't look at it, and that's, like, the problem. Why the fuck would I do Rollbuck when I can do this, and it's, like, actually free? Do I need to do that? Probably not. I hope he comes back to the... Yeah, no, no, he'll be teleported back to the... That'll be fine. I mean, that gave me the Krusty Krab warp, so there's that. But I don't want to do Krusty Krab until I have Cruise Bubble, because that's the only way it's easy. So I'll do it, like, after, like, Krabs' dream or something, I don't know. Oh my god, guys, I'm in a sliding level. Oh my god, guys, it's rubber dub. Oh my god, guys. I I think I hardly use, like, extensions, by the way. It's ba I basically, I have my ad blocker. I had this, uh, I had this one for Twitter that, like, returned, like, the old UI on Twitter way back when, but it didn't... I say way back when, like, a few years ago, but... And then I think it stopped working. Do rubber dub skip. That's basically Sandy Nut. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't have the hand disabled. Alright, let's fucking do this shit. I'll try and keep the Tata robot more in mind this time. I was hoping it would touch them. That would have been really good. If I managed to get that to happen. Wait. Nice. Okay, that's that's good. Um, so what I need to do is immediately book it to the chuck. Kill him straight away, and then, uh, and, and then right after deal with the Tata Robot. That's, like, the best strat, I think. What? what okay, yeah. Alright, so, so does, does anyone on this planet want to tell me how that was fair? Does anyone, does anyone want to tell me how that was fair? I didn't even see a projectile. What did I get hit by, like? The Tata Robot? Why does he shoot in random fucking directions? Officially more unfair than the fucking Papa's movie, man. I said that earlier, but like it actually feels like it now. Fucking ridiculous. What was I, what was I supposed to do? Like 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 literally like what was I supposed to do? Like 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 what actually was I supposed to do? 
kill the Tyler robot first while well, then get fucking sniped by the Chuck immediately. Like, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what, like, what do you want from me, you know? That was not reasonable at all. I, I like how I did this first try yesterday, by the way, when it didn't matter. And now, and now that it matters, I can't do it. And if I didn't delay this, I would have just reset like 40 minutes later again for no reason. The original challenge is so much easier because you could remove like everything that was unfair and now I have to do all of it. Yeah. Makes the early game slower and harder. And then even if I can make it into the late game, I'm more likely to choke because I'm like later I, I I'm dedicated more to it. Seven TV kinda does suck. Wait, no, not- wait. No, not 7T- 7TV doesn't suck. I thought- I, th I thought we were talking about FFZ. What the fuck's wrong with 7TV, bro? Uh, also, nice shadow. Spiro's pretty cool. Better than Pidgeot. Well, I uh, Thero. Thank you for that message. Well, yeah, they changed it, but, like, I'm pretty sure you can t turn it back. 7TV is based, so you get, like, 500 free emote slots or something. It's fucking insane. They all function pretty similarly, but this one gives you the most emote slots, and a lot of people are using it recently, so I feel like it's just better than FFZ. And better Twitch TV. Yeah, well, I don't like you. How about that, bro? How about that, bro? I don't think I- I think this is the first time I've had exactly 125. Give me a kiss, then. I'm only into hot Welsh school, sorry. That is no why does why does every the number of people that I've seen in my chat spell Welsh like that when that is literally not how you spell it and and you can hear the S sound and it is just absolutely impossible to think that there's a C in there and and yeah everyone does it anyway. That sounds... that sounds cool. Glad you could get it working. Um... Yeah, Welsh girls. Grape juice. I don't really drink grape juice, uh... Well, we have, like, this... Grape flavored like squash. But... Indeed, that is very cool. Goth girls. Yeah, I guess so.
But I have to say well skills because I'm not doing long distance dating. So I, you know, I only got one option. Try, try and find a partner in a country with like, you can't understand what anybody says because we all have stupid accents. And with the population is literally 3 million. Like, it's not happening. It's gone to the point now where the thing that gives me the most enjoyment in jellyfish fields is when pan is when plankton goes, "Hey, why are you at the bus stop? Where are you going?" Yeah, I can imagine. I don't know. I feel like... The era of remakes is going to really slow down, because now, obviously things looked good for the time and they don't anymore and they get remade, but I really feel like... Oh wait, you're talking about reanimated collab, I thought you meant like a, an actual official remake by a company. But anyway, I, I already misread your message, so I'm just gonna keep going with what, what, I, was, what I was talking about. Um... We've gone to the point now where, like, games have been sophisticated enough the last couple generations to where it's like, I couldn't even imagine them ever being remade. And I know that's what people thought back in the day, probably, but I just mean, like... As we go on, we get diminishing returns on, like, improvements in terms of visual quality. And I just don't know how remakes are gonna be anymore when it comes to, like... Well, something like, um... I don't know. Let me think. Um, will something like Persona 5 ever get remade? I can't imagine. But, like, uh, in, like, 
within, like, the next, like, two decades or something, it feels like surely it would, but, like, I don't know, I don't really think it needs it, I don't know. I feel like the era of remakes is kind of... Technology was evolving incredibly fast, and still technically is, but again, you get diminishing returns. So if we are going to see remakes, I think there's going to be a big gap in when we see... I think, when, uh, other than, like, the really old stuff, I think we're going to slowly stop seeing remakes until, like, a really long time from now, and then they stop hearing again. I feel like that's, like, the play. Well, yeah, that's how they're gonna probably have to justify, uh, the remix. Is by adding content to them. I feel- okay, so, yeah, so what I would say, though, in that sense- that, Okay, if I can reword what I said. I think faithful remix are just not gonna be a thing anymore in, like, a few years. I really just feel like the- What- what is the point anymore? The battle really did not even get to need to be remade. Why make it even a faithful one if you're not going to fix his issues? Like, it's a it's a really solid game with few flaws. Why wouldn't you fucking fix them? But yeah, no, I, I think these days you're going to have to like actually add more than what the original provided, rather than making it faithful. Nobody wants to pay sixty dollars for a game that you can get used for like twenty dollars or whatever. You know, nobody wants to do that. Some games aren't even worth remaking, but it is worth making uh, reimaginings of them. Cosmic Shake is kind of similar in concept to Creature, but it has like it, it's got like a battle theme to it, which I think was like the best thing it could have done. In it be in that sense, I really just don't see the need to ever remake Creature or anything. Like Creature is a heavily flawed game, and you would need to like overhaul some level design stuff. And at that point, well, you already have Cosmic Shake. So, what would be the point, you know? It suffers both ways. I wonder if it's faster to get the sock over there by walking that way, or if it is faster to just go around. Nah, you know what? It's probably faster to do it the other way, because I have to... Yeah, because I have to... Walk down here just to walk back up here. Yeah, nah, I bet it's like... Five seconds faster or something. There is a hammer robot in the way, but that's just one enemy. You know, five seconds to a hammer robot, you know. I got more things to worry about. I really don't see what the point was of the Diamond and Pill remakes, by the way. I don't see what the point was. Hello, iPie. How you doing today, bro? I guess this is a video game. Well, yeah, the point was definitely money, but, like, outside of that, <laughs> I don't see what the point was. The remakes really annoy me, because they're just not good at all. I feel like, in my opinion, the only thing... The only Pokemon, main series Pokemon games that are worse than the Diamond and Pill re- the ha Is a hand gonna grab me? No. I feel like the only thing worse than the Diamond and Pill remakes... Is probably Red, Blue, and Yellow, and that's pretty much just- Because you do need to factor, like, how good they were at the time. But, obviously, like, there's completely- They're completely outclassed by remakes. So... I feel like, yeah, I feel like the only games worse than Billion Diamond, Shining Pill, probably Red, Blue, and Yellow, and they still have a ton of novelty and are still worth playing as as opposed to Billion Diamond, Shining Pill, unless you do, uh, can't afford the cartridges, obviously, for the original games. 
Let me just say it like this, I guess. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are better than Diamond and Pearl. Granted, with worse visuals, but they, they are better. They're much faster paced. Oh, and, and the HM issue is just completely stripped. There is no HM issue whatsoever anymore, which is so... That's so... That's a major, major, major problem that was fixed. Um, There's the fairy typing, if you care about that. Well, they don't do a lot with it, but there is the fairy typing. Um, And obviously the steel type nerfs. And there's the EXP shit being updated to, like, modern gen system, so that it's, uh... You have to grind as much, if you if you care about that. So, I do agree that it's better than Diamond and Pearl, but wh what I also say is that it's worse than Platinum, and that's the problem. I know Platinum's really expensive. Um... So, I feel like Diamond and Pearl only really work as just, like, cheap ways to play Diamond, uh, uh Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like, they're cheaper than actual Diamond and Pearl, and I do think that they're better. It's just the Platinum, you know, obviously that's expensive. Well. But if you already own it, then, yeah. Platinum, obviously, has got the superior visuals, and it's harder if you, if you like that. And Platinum redesigned, like, most gyms and teams to be better. In Diamond and Pearl, the fucking 8th gym leader, his ace is an Octillery. An Octillery, a water type. No Electivire or anything, it's just fucking Octillery. And that should really tell you all you need to know about Diamond and Pearl. When Platinum obviously fixed stuff. When Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, like, hardly, like, applies any of the changes. And they, it's such a lazy remake, they literally copy-pasted the code. We know they copy-pasted the code, because Diamond and Pearl has an issue, has like a bug where like a certain ability doesn't work, and it's Brilliant, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, the ability still doesn't work. And they fixed in Platinum. It's the exact same ability as well that doesn't work. It is so obvious they copy-pasted the code. Just give it a visual uplift and change a few things. You're basically just paying for, like, worse-looking ROMs of Diamond and Pearl that fix the HM issue. Pretty much. That's, like, all the notable shit. And, of course, it is cheaper, but, yeah. You know what else? You know what would be even cheaper? Buying a flash cart and putting Diamond and Pearl on it. It's all fucking platinum. You know? But, yeah. That's unofficial, then. But, yeah. I hate this level, it gives me AIDS. There we go. Yeah, I don't like the, the chibi design. I feel like it just looks worse than the sprite. Is it technically updated? Yeah. Is it a higher resolution? Yeah, but I just don't think it looks better. I just don't like it. Yeah, it, um, one of the Pokemon was fucking Steelix, and Steelix is literally weak to fire moves. Like, what the fuck, dude? Couldn't even give, like, what about Magmortar? What about fucking Houndoom? Hey. Hell, if you really, really wanted to be, like, weird about it, you could even use something like fucking Kecleon just so it could th at least theoretically become a fire. Or a fucking Ditto so they could, like, transform and turn into a fire type. Uh, like, come on, man. Why Why is it even a Fire-type Elite Four member? Like, just, just make it a different type, then. Dude, Gen 5 sprites look so good. They're so good. All of them look good, and they all have great animations. People... People demand more eventually, so I understand that they needed to make 3D models and stuff. But, like... I don't know, man. It just kind of sucks, still. Ba 
that that's the thing as well as a Rapidash isn't even a good Pokemon. Most trainers avoid using starters. You know they were fucking desperate. One of the one of the elite four members had to use a starter. That like hardly ever happens. And then and then a bad Pokemon, and then those those make up the fire types. And then you have like Drifblim, like Lopany and Steelix. Like, dude, what the hell? It really should have been like Houndoom, Magmorta, Infernape, Rapidash, and then like either either be weird and just like e either cheat a little bit and use a Pokemon from a different like that's outside of the decks, or again use like Kecleon Ditto, fucking something, or or a Chlorophyll Sweeper, like a a, a Grass type. Cause it's weak to fire, but you could still it could still be a sunny day chlorophyll sweeper. So at least then it's still like it's still aiding the rest of its team if it goes down. That also would have worked, actually. That's what it should have been. Hello, Zach. Hope you are doing good. Also true. You know there have been so many generations of Pokemon that of course you're gonna have a, a j there's just too many Pokemon. Some of them are just going to be just completely outclassed by other Pokemon. It's just inevitable. But dude, a Gen One Pokemon, like why didn't it get like a Mega or something? Like, how about a special attack or attack increase or fucking something, bro? Why not give it Drought even? That'd have been cool. They were too OP, but I, I think they're cool. I mean, the designs are cool. And to be fair, some Pokemon, like, did become better. Uh, well, I, I mean, like, some bad Pokemon finally got, like, a buff. Even, even though it was short-lived, like, that was cool. But the problem is that giving Mega Evolutions to Pokemon, like, fucking Metagross and Tyranitar was probably not the best idea. Competitive, like, te like even shit, like, every Gen 6 team, like, pretty much every Gen 6 team, like, has to use a Mega. Like, they're just too good. And there's a lot of Megas, but there's also a lot of bad Megas that you wouldn't use, so you do, like, you know. A lot of teams can feel pretty samey, I guess. Nice Shadow. Charmander really sucks in RBY. I don't know why kids, like, fell in love with Charmander. He's so fucking bad, because, like, he has, like, no way to deal with Brock, and also, in in, in Red and Blue specifically, Charizard cannot learn Fly. <laughs> but God knows what reason. Oh, God, I'm missing a fucking wheel. Where could I have missed a wheel? This ain't good. Now I got that wheel, so that's three wheels. Uh... Oh, I didn't get that one. Okay. I'm surprised I missed that. Oh wait, before I go this way. I don't know if the I don't know if I'm in cannon range. We might snipe me if I. Array. Ah oh, fuck! I meant to.
Sub-25 Poseidon entrance. Hooray, let's go. How you doing, by the way, Nax? Every time I say Nax, I think of Nax on the PS4. That goes so fucking terrible. I only played like a couple levels. It was really fucking bad. Uh. And like, Nax 2... Bro, they never updated Nax 2. It's version. It says like 2.0.0.0 or something like that. And the reason why it even the number even is two in the first place is because um the old clothesline move. The robot's losing its head. Okay. The reason why it's even two is because it's just knack two. Like the two doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean like they updated it a lot and they and it was like version two point Like they literally never just never updated it. Knack, Knack, came, Knack 1 came out on the PS4, like, as a launch title, which is really weird. Because I don't know how people th felt about that game back then, but I can tell you now, it's really fucking terrible. It's just, like, funny how bad it is. Well, it's, it's just extremely mediocre. So, yeah, not a good launch title, basically. Also, I'm glad you're doing well. Nice. We've come a long way to be able to guess something like that working. And, and that's just a glimpse of, like, what the emulator will be able to do in future. Literally filled with openings. I don't know why I did such a high slam there. <laughs> I guess it just felt like it or something, I don't know. I did it again. I think I was in like phase two mode. Like the high sl jumping for slams and stuff. Hey, I got the stack. That's cool. Oh, I missed Bubble Body somehow. <laughs> okay, now time for round two with s Swingers.
I think this is the only instance in the entire game where it instantly turns you into a, uh, a non-SpongeBob character without using the bus stuff or anything. Like, I, um, obviously it does in like Robo Sandy and Robo Pat, but that's in the middle of the fights. Like, I don't think there's anything like this. The entire rest of the game. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I feel dumb because it's like pretty, like a pretty immediate thing. <laughs> and. Uh, how did that not get you? <sighs> so what's the plan now? Um, I can't get the Chuck or else I get cocked by the Tata Robot. I can't get the Tata Robot or else I get ch cocked by the Chuck. Really, no matter what I do, I'm fucked. Um, now I have both of them firing at me. Maybe I can... Okay. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I can't fucking take this anymore, man. I'm, I'm so sick of, like, coming back here every single time just for this fucking bullshit spatula to just do some unfair thing. I don't know how much more I can take of this. It's literally just... Like, the, the early game doesn't mean anything anymore. It's literally just Swinger's waiting room every single time. They're, they'll either die of fucking, like, JF Caves or... Or they... There's hardly ever any exceptions anymore. I, like, how did I do a first try after I beat the game and now I can't, I can't do it now? What's the difference?
Hey, this is fun. This game is well made. Pi is a Glover lover. Uh, yeah, because you fucking brainwashed him into being one, bro. Is it like... I don't even think he's played the game. I don't think he's played the game. Yeah, cause of fucking, cause swing, cause swingers is fucking cancer. That's why. It's actually cause of some like extremely unfair bullshit spatula. I I had to fucking move around the route to do it ASAP, and it's still like I have not got past it. If it happens one more time, I'm giving up. It's the most painful thing ever to just, like, complete most of downtown and jellyfish fields where, like, I hardly ever get hit anymore. Like, it's literally, like, swingers waiting room. Just for me to have, like, a 90% chance to get hit because, like, it's because of, like, just, like, an objectively unfair spatula. Why is this game, like, so easy and then it just has that? It makes it even worse that this game is easy and then has something like that because, like, you just can't predict that sort of difficulty. It is it, just so unbelievably unlikely to not get hit there, unless, like, you really are fucking thinking about it. And I'm trying to plan it out, but the fucking Tata robot and the Chuck are right next to each other. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm on fucking oil. The, the fucking fodders are just, like... Mega AIDS. 
Because there's like a million of them. The, the, the G loves Sandy isn't very good against. There's a Todd Robot and a Chuck right next to each other on oil. Like... Like... What can I reasonably do about that? And that's not even the fucking worst of it. Krusty Krab will probably be worse, but I can't do it until I get Cruise Bubble. But for, for like, until Industrial Park, like, Swingers is definitely the worst thing I could do. Like for sure. It's definitely the absolute worst of early game. The thing is, comp compared to the any percent, the early game is harder and longer now. It's not... Before Swingers, it's not much harder, but it is harder and it is longer. So every dedicated attempt hurts more to lose. That's the problem. I've already become a pretty accustomed to all the different things I've had to do so far, but Swingers is just like on a completely different playing field. I meant to go this way. This way's faster. We worked out last time. Yeah, he can't even see you anyways. There's no risk to this. Seems like four or five seconds to go this way. Another instance of this game being well made is that you can just do that. You say cop, you're not the one having to deal with it. And you know, for Hundo, I was thinking of doing like... Because the $25 bounty originally... I did the $50 one. But I didn't get, um... I was thinking of letting myself be drowned by goo. I was thinking of letting myself do Hans Disable. Just to see, because it would still be harder than the any percent, but not by much. But it wouldn't even just fix the issue at hand, which is Swingers. It just wouldn't fix it. If this game had, like, box state or something, well, then that'd be really easy to cheese, obviously, but... Yeah. Hello, Peppa. It'd be doing well. Um... Bad. Because I can't, like, I can't get past swingers. I have to change the route to get the swingers ASAP and I just cannot get past it. You think it is, but like, pr in the any percent, pretty pretty much anything that could fail you is bullshit. And then in the 100%, it's technically your fault, but it's also still bullshit. It, this game is way easier to do damage less than movie. Way, 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 way easier, but... The issue with that, then, is that everything that does go wrong feels like it's not your fault. Because this game does occasionally go baby mode. And uh, uh, most of the time is easy mode still. Actual brainwash man. Have you even ever played Glover, iPi? Have you ever even played it? I, f I fucking knew you hadn't. Thank you, Peppa. I made, like, a pretty good rat. Like, I feel like I, at the very least, was able to show, like, casually, if you're gonna do this, like, what route you should be doing, like, that sort of thing, roughly. And I think that's cool. And to be the first person to do it, even though, obviously, it wasn't, like, that hard, like, it's cool. This, this is a lot harder, though, because, well, obviously, I have to do JF Caves, and I have to do Sea Needle, and then I have to do Swingers. Goo Lagoon's, like, the same. And also, I need to do, like, the entirety of the museum. And the artwork. Did you actually stream, like, a couple days ago or whenever when you said you did careful? Yeah, I'm surprised as well, iPi. I really am. Okay, well, careful, I wasn't able to watch because I went to sleep at, like, 12. So, like, in a breath.
real fan. I I was recovering from an all-nighter. I even got more bonus sleep today, so now I'm like basically back to normal. Because instead of going to sleep at like 4.30 or something like I normally do, I went to sleep at like... What time to go to sleep? Like 3.10 or something. And I woke up at like 1 almost, so yeah, no, I'm, my sleep is like back to normal now. That's good. So do I regret sleeping at that time, at those times? No, I do not. No, I do not. You know what I did on that day where I did an all-nighter? Well, like, you know, yeah. I say day, but yeah. I'd like... All I did was just play Pokemon Emerald. I played some today as well. Uh, well, last night, actually. And I got to, like, fucking... I'm, like, right outside Victory Road, but the issue is that, um, my Pokemon are all terrible. I, I basically made a team of, like, bad Pokemon, but they have good type synergy and stuff, but, like, god, dude, they're, they're so underleveled. I fall, I fall like, every tra trainer, and they're still, like, underleveled. I don't know what to do about that. You are not radiant, you are careful. Shut the fuck up. Also, careful, I really can't be fucked. Do those GameCube testing things on... G uh, what was it called? Fucking USB loader. Yeah, I can't be fucked anymore, so... Yeah. yeah well, I, I, all I, I just realized, like, I don't really give a fuck. I just don't care. Like, I, I, like, it made my Wii higher quality for doing nothing. That's cool, but I don't really... Like, I just don't- I just don't care on the GameCube front. My question is really, is like, why- why did you want me to, like, look into it? Because all it- all it would really do, even if it did work, was just prove that my purchase of the RGB cable was pointless. For the most part, and like, I don't, I don't know, like... But, like, do I really want to prove that my purchase was pointless? I've, I've been enjoying the quality, literally, right? I've been using my Japanese GameCube, and it's using S-Video cables into a retro tank, right? But, like, 
I'm using the official disc as well, and it still looks perfectly decent on a 50-inch TV. I don't know why I was so hyper-focused on, like, a quality thing. And, and I can make it look even better by just not using the disc when I eventually get my memory card from the... If it's even going to show up, because it might not. No, you don't understand, right? Hold on. I ordered a memory card off eBay. But yeah, I'll, yeah okay, okay, cool. Cool. I like this game a lot, it's good. Just met the Sponginator. Didn't happen any other time. I had to get it from China, and it never arrived, and I forgot that I bought it, and then I and then I got another one, and it's still all it says is dispatch, and probably gonna request a refund. They're just not... Uh, of course, you know... I bought stuff off eBay, and it didn't arrive. Uh, can, you, can you tell me how that's my fault, bro? I'd love to know. Okay, so where should I have bought it from? Tell me where I should have bought it from. We don't have AliExpress. Now tell me what to do. I would simply love to know how it's my fault. I would love to know. Oh yeah, Amazon. Oh yeah, hmm, let me think about that. Oh wait, it's, they're like more than twice the price and none of them are prime delivery, so it still take like half the amount of time to arrive as it does from fucking China. There's no, so there's no reason to pay double the price for like half the delivery time when it's still really long. It's like double the price for the same exact fucking thing and it still takes ages to arrive. I'm just saying, right? Shit is just like... They're only cheap from China, so, you know. Uh. This is really annoying because now I've spent a total of like seven pound or something on two thingies that are just not arriving. And it's like, yeah, I, I found a Blu-ray player that I can sell for money, but then what's I gonna do? Just barely negate the the cost I spent on something that didn't arrive. It's supposed to be negating the cut my GameCube costs, but like two things didn't even arrive. Is that even my fault? Get me. I mean, all the other cells are from China. Like, I could have bought more expensive ones, but they all had, like, kind of the same points, the same positive feedback percentage. 
same sort of delivery, it's just they're all from fucking China. If the issue was buying it from China, then all I could have done was pay like double the price and it still would have taken like a week to get here. So I'm not saving like 2p. The, the amount that I've spent now is about the amount I would have spent on one that would have arrived from the UK anyway. But I could probably get refunds on them. It's a, it's a, it's a penny. In it, in it, bruv. A dollar. It says that my uh, thingy will arrive on between the 14th and the 18th of April. But I bet if I track it, there's like no updated information. I, I last checked like a half a week ago or something. Uh, if I check again, I'll be surprised if there's any update to the thing. Oh wait, never mind, it actually is doing shit. Okay, it's moving. So I still- the, one of them still just did not arrive for the record, but... I still got ripped off like three quid, but now I've just paid like about the amount of just like a UK one, so... You know. What the fuck is a note? Like dollar bills. If I got hit there, I would have stopped the stream. I, I don't- I don't know what those words mean, bro. I don't know what they mean. Like a mouse. I can be real with you, Shadow, like, I'm probably not doing this after the stream because, like, the, like, Swingers just makes me hate this a lot. It's just the one spatula, I just can't stand it. It's crucial to get it out of the way as soon as possible. But, like, just all the attempts are the same then, just, like... That you're just waiting, Sim. 
If I if I don't if I don't make any progress today, I'm just I'm so just going back to movie tomorrow. Well, I haven't played movie for like almost a week, but it'll probably be fine. Well, I, yeah, I mean, it's just like I'm already here, so I'm just like doing it. But I would like to actually see past swingers, and then I will be enjoying it again. Something tells me that's not gonna happen. Because it's extremely bullshit. I, I mean, I just did this today because it, I just didn't feel like playing movie. But I clearly took movie for granted because I'd rather be doing movie right now. <laughs> Hold on. I say this all the time, but I need to limit burp because it makes my stomach feel not great. I should limit it to like two uses per stream or something. I don't know what the fucking message means, bro. Go away. Kif will be like, ah, oh, you're not responding in a message that you don't understand in a language you don't understand, bro. How could you? No problem, bro. I try my best. Why is there a purple shiny under there? How are you supposed to grab it without dying? Oh, you get a big boost as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, so this way is definitely faster than using good gym spacing here. Well, you don't even. Well, if you. You need good jump spacing to not get the ledge grab, but. Even, yeah. He's even okay jump spacing well. Should be fine. Still faster. Definitely. Okay, but here's the thing, right? If I were if I were deceiving people, I would be it, the tag would say Welsh, not Wales. If you live in Wales, you know that that there aren't that actually that many people in the country that can speak Welsh. If somebody said if somebody asked me, "Do you speak Welsh?" I think that's a fair question to ask. But Welsh people in general would understand that that doesn't mean, oh, he can just, I just instantly know he can speak Welsh because it says Wales. It just means I live in Wales. I think it's just a cool little thing because it's st statistically unlikely to be live in a country this small. Especially in the UK, like most people obviously just live in England, like... So it's just a cool little thing. I don't I don't think there's that much that stands out about me. That's why I, I like saying that I'm from Wales, because it's different. Something that is actually notable. If, if you were from Wales, you'd understand, basically.
what is bounceless in this game exactly. I'm the SpongeBob speedrunner from fucking uh, Japan. That's a unit. Yeah, like I doubt there's ever been a single runner from Japan because the game did not come out in Japan. So that'd be pretty unique. Yeah, you could potentially like. That one's a weird one. Either no one would care, or you'd get a big audience. The former, because no one else is doing it, and nobody- I bet Japanese people just don't even- have never even heard of this game before, or they just know very, very little about it. Or it could get you popular, because you're the only person in Japan, at, at streaming of those time zones, being able to actually play the game. So it's pretty interesting, it could go either way, I think. That'd be really cool, though, to see. Because, like, you're- you're marketing to completely different people because of the time zone. So it'd be pretty interesting to see if it actually could do well, considering, like, that country just never got this game. <laughs> Man, I, I just used Japan as a random example, because it was one of the few regions- well, it, Asia didn't get it, basically. The first Japanese SpongeBob game was Japanese Creature, and it wasn't even dubbed, it was subbed. Who's laughing now, Japan? Who's, who has to watch sub content now? I wonder how the creature did in Japan. Probably not very well. His creature's bad. Hashtag JK. Rolling. This is a very nostalgia answer, but Swampert, Mudkip was my first starter, so that's probably why. Also, it's typing back then was more unique, at least. And it's just a great typing. Only gives it a grass weakness. And it has good HP, like good defenses, good attacks, stats. Only really bad s status speed, really. Careful, you know what I think of that video. You know damn well, bro can't afford honk, but apparently can afford an opinion on something he already knows. Does bro think he's fooling? The the video raised more valid points than I thought it would, but it just it still gets like the kind of the fundamentals wrong. Criticizes the game for a bunch of stuff that Battle did and just didn't even mention that. Which clearly means you just never encountered those issues in battle, but yeah, like... It's so stupid. He has, like, this thing that I'd call Lamhoot Facts, where he, j he just says something with absolute certainty, but, like, it's not even right, like, a quarter of the time. He says things that sound correct and just doesn't fact-check them, I guess is how I'd put it. He's just like, alright, this is the most re- this is the most re- th this is the thing that's most likely to be correct, so I'm just gonna say it, that's what it feels like. That's enough of the- enough of the complaining. I think Creature- in my opinion, I think Creature's quality dips after Starfish Man. Uh, what's up, Kaons? I, I don't know who the fuck that is, I'm not gonna lie. No problem. Only the best of my audience. I couldn't guess. <laughs> okay, that's that, that one's funny. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I, I couldn't guess. <laughs> Alright. Alright, bro. I see you. I 
I mean, I think the concept is cool, but you are just doing the exact same thing for like 20 minutes, so no, really. That game, the game, the levels last for too long, and just, yeah, I mean, that's, that's like one of the biggest issues with the game, lasts too long. All the cutscenes are like fucking unskippable. The sleepy seeds and like the other object, the coins or whatever, just uh, don't do fuck all casually. Like in an any percent playthrough. It'd be cool if they did stuff, maybe an upgrade of some sort, maybe upgrading your vehicle. Um, there's way too many auto scrollers and they last too long. There's like forced mini games that you can't back out of and you don't have to do them, but then you just go AFK for a minute. Like, that's just cringe. But the the real reason why I don't like the game though is because when I played it casually, I soft locked and I had to fucking redo Super Size Patty. That's why I don't like the game. How can someone like the game when that happens to them? It's like impossible. Imagine if you grinded. Imagine if you grinded for all the crab spats in this game and then the game crashed. Then you had to do it all over again. You would kill yourself. Alright. That's basically my equivalent of what happened. I had to redo, like, the Super Size in, like, half of Alaskan. That was a little risky. I mean, I've just, in my entire life, I've just, like, never been really much of a smiling guy. Some people just don't, like, have, like, super strong emotions, I guess. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm always really confused when I watch, like, a, a review for a show or something, and or, like, an episode of a show, and it's just like, they're like, this, you know, the episode isn't gut-bustingly funny, and I'm just like, when, like, I can't remember the last time I was gut-busting at an episode of anything. I never do that. Are you supposed to do that? Is that, like, normal? I don't know. That was stupid. Huh? You're sus. How am I sus? What did I do that was sus? Is that floating boats? What is that? Is that the Gulagoon car park? Yeah, it is. Wow, that is not, that is not very convincing. I looked up mobile gameplay 10 hours and I could only find subway surfers and there were only two videos. I ran out of content after this video. What? Okay, I don't get the jumps in this game sometimes with, with the noise Squidward. Doesn't make any sense, Brev. Hey. Hey. Oh wait, no. I'm going this way. You can't tell the difference. You absolutely cannot tell the difference. Hell, actually, last fucking stream, you were like, Ugh, Purple, you're so lazy. This is the same Subway's Surface gameplay as the first stream. And I was like, you know what? To be fair, if I did that three streams in a row, that'd be kind of too much. So I'm gonna fucking change it up. I'm gonna mix it up, if you would. BFB Mix Reference. I'm going to find more gameplay, and I could only find one more video that lasted more than like two hours, and it was this one. And you're for real fucking telling me that the old, that you prefer the old one now? 
fucking dickhead fucker. Fuck you. How about that? How about that? How about fuck you? Starfish Man, Diesel, Hypnotic, Rooftop, Plankton Mos Monster, Alaskan, it came from Bikini Bottom, Rocket, Supersized. Alright, well, I'm glad we're in agreement that Supersized is the worst, because, dude, Supersized, Patty, has to be one of the worst levels in, in Spongebob history, even. Like, in Spongebob games. It, it lasts for, like, over 20 minutes. Like, you know what's shorter than that? On ironic rock slide, rock slide one and two is shorter than that, and you actually do more things. Crazy. You can even fit rubber dub one in there if you really wanted to. Maybe even rubber dub two. You might be able to fit all that in before super size patty. That is fucking terrible. Creatures a slower paced game, but like, dude, it gets to a point where it's just harming the game. Movies are slower paced than from battle, but I, I don't think that's an immediate bad thing because it isn't that much slower. But like, holy shit, dude, creature really fucking like it, it really slows down. Anyway, I'd probably say the Starfish Man might be my only thing is a Starfish Man has like way too many cutscenes, so I might prefer Diesel Dreaming. I don't know. Hypnotic, Hypnotic Highway is, like, really cool, though. I really like Hypnotic Highway. Uh, I don't know, I just got the gameplay off YouTube. up stash how you doing today on the wednesday oh my god it's fucking joel oh my god i missed you so much joel joel vine sauce i'm doing okay thanks this game is giving me aids though oh fuck okay That's the first time I've actually had to dodge the attack. I, I, I don't know why I did a jump spin, but it actually worked pretty well. So, if I need to do that in future, I guess I'll do that. I'm gonna cook Joel, maybe, in my fish and chips. Bro, bro's tongue got stuck just then. <laughs> Alright, yeah. If I don't get it this time, I might give up. I'm like, really... It's just swingers every time at this point. It's, it's like... Swingers, swingers, JF, swingers, downtown swingers. Like, uh, uh, it's pretty annoying.
What the fuck happened there? Maybe that, yeah, this might be better. This separated compared to before. Alright, if there's any time to do it, it's now. No. Okay. Wow, I actually fucking did it this time. <sighs> fucking Jesus Christ. Is that the strat then, to go on the other side? I think the issue li the other times is that they were like separated too much. Just like kept being an issue. I feel like I'm pretty unlikely to get hit by anything else in Dream. But I think for now I'm done, but thank god I actually finally fucking did it. That is the first time I've actually, like, done that this stream. The fucking miracle. Now if I get hit in Goolagoon, I'm gonna fucking die, IRL. This time I have Ball, though, so Goo Lagoon should be a tiny bit easier, as I say, as I nearly fucking go in the goo. Glover, Glover, Super Size. What the hell? What? What does that mean? Uh. <laughs> Alright, no more now, please, because my stomach kind of hurt. Also, I'll, I'll press jam gay button in a sec. Press it again in a sec. Uh, okay, well. Wait. I wasn't sure if you like cute it, so I did, I did it again. Broken afford something the seven times the price of honk. Get a little of this guy. Several times even. It's it's a good price, it's not even a bad price. Fact of the matter is that you can't afford it. Should you buy uh, a Nintendo 64 disk drive considering that they're like $1,500? No, but can you afford it? Probably. I can't say you can't afford it, you probably can't afford it. You know? Oh, 
Okay, but what you could say that about anything. Uh, I really want a Ferrari. What if they were just cheaper? What if they were like five quid? What if it was like, what if it was five quid? Well, if, if a Ferrari with no catches was five quid and like, then yeah, of course you'd buy one. <laughs> Who the fuck wouldn't? Dude, can I get like not abysmal RNG? What the hell is this, bro? And I got bad RNG again. Do you, wanna, do you wanna work like any day of the week, bro? Come on now, you know you wanna. Now. Alright, cool. Welcome back, Harden. This is the only attempt that's gone past Swingerless and I wanna fucking die. Bad RNG three times in a row. Actual Purple Foundation moment. Fucking finally, holy shit. Yeah, like, I I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but I was- I had... The successful swingers attempt- oh my god. The successful swingers attempt, um... Was facing the opposite side of where I was camping. 19. I, I did beside him and it went to swingers immediately because it kept fucking my ass. There's a couple hidden items in Mammoon. Honestly, you probably you should probably just not bother, honestly. But Mammoon is pretty fucking annoying. I, I generally, in my opinion, feel like it's just best to get it out of the way. Cool. I'm glad you liked the movie. I mean, I, yeah. I, I will be watching the Mario movie, and I hope to have a good opinion of it. I, I will say, though, at Cotton, that, um... I did one attempt where I didn't do swing, swingers immediately, and that attempt did get quite a few spatulas. I'm trying to remember how many I got, but it was like... I did Rock Bottom, I did Dream. Well, I... Well, no, I didn't do Dream. <laughs> I did minimal air, I did rock bottom. Um, I did, like, obviously museum and stuff like that that I didn't do last time. Um, you yeah. know. So I just did, like, some a couple more things, as you can imagine. You could, like, do save states or something, but... I feel like a lot of movies now are kind of fast-paced, by the way. I feel like a lot of them either, like, really take the time or are pretty fast-paced. Uh. Yeah. I can't believe that there's no battle cheat code for having all the warps, but there is a movie. Because movie has less warps, it's less useful. <laughs> and the levels, like... Again, there's just bit more separation in between warps, it's just less useful. Yeah. Oh my god, you should have seen it earlier, by the way. I was at the end of JF Caves. I slammed... Right next to a hammer, actually right next to him, and didn't get stunned, and he hit me. Okay, I nearly drowned. Also, that is a bot message. Upgrade my channel. How about upgrade your life by not? What was I trying to say? I don't know. I think I was just trying to say die or something.
You know what? Why haven't I been jumping on these tiki's? Okay, well that would prevent me from being able to jump on the tiki's. I feel like... You know, bad jump spacing. I don't need to do that. I'm not- I'm not a fucking- I'm not a- am I- Well, I think I'm Gen Z, but I'm not like a- I'm not like a proper Zuma, you know what I mean? I'm not like 14, can't fucking... You know. I will say, though... I will say, though, in the past few months, I have gotten to the point where, like, when I play a video game, I basically always have to, like, listen to YouTube videos or something. I have gotten to that point. But... I don't know. Uh, yes. It isn't just that, it's also if I get- if I touch Goo or Drown or Hans grabs me. So no- no cheesing around that, essentially. I... I will say that I- uh, I- for Persona 5, I only... I only listened to stuff while uh, grinding at one point, otherwise I didn't because the game was really fucking good. And I didn't for Cosmic Shake, I actually just remembered. Yeah, so if I'm playing a game for the first time, I probably won't unless I have to do some sort of grinding or something. You switch sides. Nah, I'm probably done after this stream. Because it just turned into swingless attempts. And it's, it really takes a toll. But anyway, thank you for the good luck, Toba. Hope you're doing well today. This is my first attempt past swing past swingless. Like uh, <laughs> that that makes you want to not play BFBB. <laughs> like I got good RNG. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you meant switch sizes and playing battle rather than movie. It's because this is no longer funny. It's serious business, bro. One hundred percent. I, I keep saying swingless because of the strat. Is that all the tune play? It doesn't even play for like the whole thing. <laughs> Game is so bad, bro. It's literally so bad. You are disgusting. Oh my god, Patrick, for the love of god, I wish you had Cartwheel. What's the- what's been the problem? The Chuck and the Tata. They're so fucking unfair. It's combined. No, like- like the one time I failed because the Tata's- the Tata was behind me, like, the shots were still behind me, and they were degrading. Then, it ha uh, the next time it happened, because I, I tried to... What, what happened? I tried to, like, hit the Chuck, and then the Tata robot sniped me before I could do it, even though I, I timed it, like, basically as well as I possibly could have. And then it happened again, I can't remember what happened that time, and then it finally fucking worked. But that, that was the first time I tried on a different side, and I don't know if it's, like... They they were too they were always too close to each other, but then I, I moved to the opposite side and they were no longer close to each other. So I don't know if that's a strat or if it was just RNG. I don't know. But doing it from be from behind might be better. I don't know. But like I've already I've already been fucked so much. I don't even know if I want to do it again. 
I'm gra I'm getting the spatula animation by the way because um what's it called because one of the enemies died over there so I'd rather take advantage of it. Also, after the industrial park, like the very first thing I'm doing is Crab's Dream. Then I will actually try to get the Kel plug immediately, as soon as I can. Because of Campers and the socks, it's gonna be really fucking bad, dude. It's not gonna be in it's not gonna be good. One of the socks and kelp, I have to like fucking throw the fruit as Patrick and we're gonna suck at the freezy fruit. It is. It, it, honestly, I feel like they're, they're more unfair than movie poppers because you can deflect their shots, and they cannot land on the ground, and they're all, like, next to each other, and you can jump to avoid the shots, or even jump to manip the shots. I feel, I feel like Tata Robots are, like, they have- and they always take two hits, whereas, like, Papa's can take one. Yeah, they're pretty cringe, basically. Oh my god, I'm down a sock. Oh, I, I know where I'm down a sock, though, it's fine. Yeah, Tilba, it's kind of dumb, because I don't think it's possible to make it with one ice cube, I think, or, well, a kid definitely wouldn't be able to. So it's really stupid, so you have to wait for, like, 15 seconds doing fuck all. I don't really understand that. Okay, I'm finally done on this front, so... Now I'm going to do the, uh, I'm gonna do rock bottom. Because, uh, well, actually, I'll show you. Okay, well, you realized it, but I'll show everyone else. I'll also get, like, five shinies on the way, so it's worth it, bro. For real, for real. Alright, keep your eyes peeled. Did, did, did that look good to you? Like, yeah, I could go around the side, but, like... Ugh. Nah, I'd rather not risk it, bro. I don't know why the fuck- like, casually, like, you kinda have to get hurt. Welcome to the dark hey, Rock Bottom. Hey, here we are in Rock Bottom. Here we are in Rock Bottom. I have to, like, actually do artwork this time, so that's... Dude, I did Museum. I did a first try, but there was a fuck ton of enemies there. Like, it's actually a little scary. One of the Sam Mountain Slopes also does that, and it's super annoying. That, I, it's probably Bubble Buddies. I don't know the names, honestly. <laughs> Except for Guppy. I don't know how I'm gonna get past... That one, honestly, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Figure it out, Briv. Thank you. Do Bombots are probably, like, the worst enemies in the game, in terms of just, like, how actually good of the role they're, they're, they don't do anything. Even the, do the off-robots are basically just better versions of the bomb-bots, because they're faster, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they explode quicker, too. Wait, why did I, why did I grab that sock now? I'm gonna grab it later with Sandy. I'm th I think I'm cringe. I think I'm cringe. I think I'm cringe. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do museum, like, now, I think. Because it's probably the hardest thing here. Optimizing my route. 
normalized speedrunning routes where like they don't they don't save time or lose time, but you just get the cringe out of the way immediately. I say normalize as if like anybody doesn't do that. If it doesn't lose time, like people always do the cringe first. Although sometimes something is technically theoretically like faster and you don't do it and you kind of feel cringe when not doing it, but like it's just so necessary sometimes. In Hundo, I could do a Rock Slide 2 during Navo and Men. Uh, but then I'd move Toasterly 12 minutes later and Sunday and a bunch of other shit. So, no. Absolutely not doing that. Hey there, Barnacle Boy. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Comes back again. This is my first time seeing you, bro. This doesn't make any sense. This game is so bad. Honestly, kind of true. Back when we, back when we used to, th uh, well, actually, no, it still is fast. Yeah, no. In Hundo, it saves like one scroll, I think. To it's either one or two scrolls. I think it's one scroll to do SD one hundred one early, like during three K. But the only reason you'd ever want to do that is if you're doing the Kansas Strat, where, um... You know when you Nitro on the dirt pile and you grab the extra during ring and then you do Sandwich Out of Bounds and Macho? Like, that would be the only reason why you do it early. And that would fucking do that would ruin the category, but save a lot. I hate to admit it, but that shit would save, like, 14 seconds. Like, it saves so much time. There's no way you can justify doing it that as late as we do it now. You gotta do it early. But it's such an annoying- like... I've never gotten it before. To, like, to show how- And that's without factoring as well that I do a harder sandwich out of bounds now. And I'd have to do it after doing two sandwich out of bounds. Like, it'd just be so bad, dude. It make Hundo, like, the most reset heavy in early game out of all the categories when it's currently, like, no major glitches, probably. Actually, no, all tokens. Because you gotta do rubber dub too. Yeah. I think Cole's, like, routing was always really funny because he never really prioritized cringe, but for some reason his routes were still unoptimal. <laughs> It's so bizarre. For the fucking for the you no know, NMG backtracking, he would literally do like he did depression, then BBBH, then SCDA. Even though, the, well, I, I mean, back when he was playing, to be fair, none of them were really that bad. But the worst one was probably BBBH. It's hard to say. People re actually no. People hated SCDA SpongeBob back then, and they used to do a late game. So nah, I'd say you should do SCDA first, then BBBH, then Depression. But Cole did not roll like that. I I can tell. I can show you. But then we started just copying him because everybody copied Cole. You know. Cole was amazing at what he did, but god, he really set us back in terms of routing. <laughs> Cringe on a stick, because having normalized movement is, like, literally impossible with how it controls. Yeah. I'm waiting for 2028 when, when Park Skip is viable on NTSC Xbox. Which will not be enjoyable at all. And it'll- and then we'll find some strat that makes the paddy wagon like really fast, but it's like super hard to control. It'll be like fucking paddy cruise boost. Okay. Well, be like Cole because he, he was really good at uh, strat hunting, and he is basically the reason why these games even have like a, a present, let alone a future. Um, but you should not be like Cole in the routing department, and you should never do things 
because you think that they're fast without timing them. That is another thing. Cole found BBBH backwards, and he didn't implement it because he felt like it was slow. How much does it save? Like, 45 seconds. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Cole. In Sha NG Plus, don't you just uh, just do the aids like immediately? Don't don't they do like level five and level seven stuff like first? Uh. Yeah, Cotton. That's under the official BFB rules anyway. Campus is going to be like so bad. Play an order because I don't remember a route. <laughs> do you remember when they they made it so that you could do it in any order, but then they realized that the order splitter did not work like that, and they had to make a quick fix? That was kind of funny, Briv. Shaw's a good run, bro. Nah, camp is... Dude. Go and watch, like, a really old, early Powers world record run and watch him do fucking campers. There's, like, this horrible strat where, like, it's so hard, dude. I never did it because it was so bad. Uh-oh, I forgot that the sock's not here. Can I make it? Yeah, no, I can make that. There's, like, a sleepy time that's in the way, and he will fuck you, basically. He will fuck you. Unless you, like, slam off of the fucking clam, and then wait a second or something, and then slam him with cruise, but, like, it's so dumb. I I'm gonna have to, like, do it really slow. I'm just gonna have to figure out how to... Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna go about it, honestly. It's kind of up in the air. I don't know why I warped the... Um... Hey! Hey! I'm down three socks, I only know what two of them are, so that's a bit concerning. Oh wait, there's the one, never mind. Wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. Is there any way I can cheese this? Can I go around, or is that like... Oh. Cool. Why was I doing it casually, bro? Wah. Ooh, wah. Ooh, wah. Why the fuck was I doing it casually? Why does the demo show Sandy creeping up when she, like, literally can't do that? And then I get to like do this and then just go back and it's like pretty based and then yeah. Your mum's a nerd in my bed. And I get a better matchup against the Tata robot. This is a Yeah, I don't know no C B strats, bro. I don't know him. Oh wait. So, what we decided earlier is that I shouldn't do lasers now because you can cheese one of them a cruise bubble later, so... I'm, like, basically done here. And the final artwork is pretty far- it's- it's over there, so it's not worth getting. It's pretty fast. It's pretty crazy, like, how little CB actually saves these days. Because before, obviously, you, you relied on it, like, a lot. Alright, now it's time for Mimler, I think. And then we do the rest of Dream. I think that's... I think that's the move. E. But yeah, you can tell how much slower pace this is compared to before. Because I had a 58 time going into Industrial Park yesterday, and I'm gonna barely get sub-1 Mimler entrance. And Mermel is going to be slower because I'm actually going to grab, like, the slow-ass sock. Yeah, I... Well, 
I don't know if Sky's got a new world record with the third dupe, but if not, Funnel Machines has been replaced with duping and it saves like 20 seconds. And why play the game when you can just not play the game? <laughs> I, re I I said well eventually I want to watch the uh, the Cosmic Shake World Record Hovelos, but that will not be this stream. Apparently the Shah Hunter route has changed like again, and I kind of want to watch Shah. I haven't watched Shah Hunter in a while, so I'm thinking of like watching it. I used to, dude, when I first. When I first watched Liquid, the world record for Shah Hunda was like a 320 or something. And then I remember somebody asking him, do you think Sub-3 will ever happen? Liquid was like, yeah, no, it'll definitely happen one day. There's no way, just not now at all. And it's just like, I was thinking about it, I was like, dude, there's no way you could save 20 minutes in this game. Obviously in like 10 years you could, but like, how can you do it in the, in, within the next like 4 years or something? And then it got done in like 3 years. And I don't understand how that's possible. The Shah Hunter world record now is like a 252 or something. Like, sub 250 will happen. <laughs> it's crazy. That game is. It's just insane. Okay, I got bad RNG three times in a row. Oh, Jesus. Okay, 253. Yeah, but it's definitely going to get sub 250, like, sooner than later. I didn't mean to do that. Um, hello, Anne. So, hope you're doing well today. I, I wasn't streaming between, uh, Sunday to, like, Tuesday. Or Monday, I mean. So, yeah. But yeah, anyway, welcome back. I guess just really, really good movement and a lot of determination. I guess that's how it's possible. Yeah, you. Although you did miss a pretty big one, I completed battle damage loss any percent. Yeah, sometimes you can't really process what times are possible until you've played a category. Sometimes they're just not. You know. Thank you. When you play a category for the first time, you're automatically going to be shit at it for a bit. Even if it's just like the same- like, I always bring the, bring up this example. But TikTok clock is identical in 70 star to 120 star, literally 100% identical. And yet, when 70 star runners go to 120, they usually fuck up. Like, pretty bad. On that front. Uh, I should probably grab the spatula, actually. I'm down one sock from being able to... Because after I get Spinning Towers of Power, I'll be down one sock. Which means I need to get another sock, which I can get from... Patrick's Rock. You should touch Hundo then. <laughs> Computer one, all right, yeah. True. Dude, this route would like actually be so goaded. But you know why it's not? Because I'm still down a spatula. So I either I need to get Shady Shoals and lose a bit of time, or I need to grind for a crab spurt. I'm down, like, I'm barely down. That kind of sucks. 
Wait, did I get Chumbuck? Oh, no fucking wonder I didn't have enough. I didn't get Chumbuck. Because I prioritize swingers that much that I just... And it gives me enough for a crab spurt. So, like, it just works out perfectly anyway. This route is, like, actually go to this fuck. You don't even need to get the Mermelet computer one, because you could just fucking... Dude, that's so perfect. That actually works out, like, so well. This route does. Well, too bad. Um, so, now we do Industrial Fart. And then... We don't get hit here, and then I immediately get hit in Crab's Dream, and I end the stream. Yay! Welcome back, Shadow. Um, I did Swingers, and now I'm in Industrial Park. Dude, I was getting fucked by Swingers uh, so hard, I was unironically considering delaying it to be, like, at the end of the hundo attempt just so I can actually get somewhere. I'm not even joking. Something was so bad that I was thinking of moving it later. Like, have you ever heard of that before? I'm, ne I I'm never doing movie damage this again, for the record. Cotton, I think you should, like, die or something, I don't know. Can you even do it without Cruise Bubble? I feel like it's probably impossible without getting damaged. Because obviously you can damage boost over to the dupes, but otherwise... You did so much- you did so well with this, uh, really easy game for babies. At least if I get hit in Crab's Dream, it wasn't fucking swingers. If I get past Crab's Dream, then most of the bad stuff's done. At that point, it's, it's mostly campers and just grinding crab spats. That would suck. Well, kelp in general would be really bad, so I need to prioritize that shit. Dutchman will probably be bad too, honestly. I think Dutchman will suck. But if I take my time, it should hopefully be okay. I think it only Dutchman will mostly be bad if I just like. Oh shit! I I'm gonna get hit. I don't know what to do. Fucking hell, dude! Dude, he was going faster than me, and that's not even a lamb who thing. That's like actually real. He was actually going faster than me. I didn't know what to do. I don't think- I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody, uh, grind on this lasso in particular. I'm surprised that's faster than taking damage, by the way. It doesn't feel like it, unless I'm timing it wrong. Probably only says like half a second or something. Well, when I say avoiding, like, when I say taking damage, like, I mean, like... You would purposely take damage originally, because, um... It would end the animation first. I'm talking about compared to that. Because Patrick just, like, looks at you for, like, three seconds, and it's just kind of... You know. Ah, fuck. Ooh, and the robot is down. Not really. He just, like, bashes his chest a bit, and then... 
bad video game alert. Oh fuck, I forgot. I gotta do the manips. Alright, well I don't think I can make it over to the other one, so we're gonna manip here, even though I'm pretty sure there is no manip here. It will work though, I will revolutionize Robopat manips. Okay, never mind. I didn't revolutionize shit. That's actually a really terrible spot. There we go. I'm sorry, Plankton. So... Crabs is dream, am I right, fellas? Oh, I forgot to do Forbidden. <laughs> like a boss. I was so fixated on fucking swingers that I just, like, didn't even do shit here. <sighs> Actually, I should have done Patch. Nah, uh, yeah, I kind of fucked up. I should really be doing this first. Pippa, why don't you just do oil skip? I think it is actually possible, by the way, to do forbidden skip without taking damage, but I think, I think it's hard. Bro, dude, there are so many times in this game where an enemy, like, insta-attacks you. Like, as soon as you exist. All right, time for the run in the... And this nightmare for crying out loud. And this nightmare for crying out loud. That's fine. That's not actual goo, and I didn't take damage. So let me just think about what I'm doing. I want to get like a stray angle. Uh oh. Okay, let's reload the level. Did that work? It worked. Based. Too bad, so sad. Running out. The only thing I'm running out of is is uh, my patience. Grrr. Now, Cotton, now, you say skill issue, by the way. When I cruise bubbled him, you respawn, like, way too fast. Of course, he's, he's not doing it now. Yeah. It just appears too quickly. Okay, I'll wait for him to, I'll wait for them to be on a good cycle. So that, like, it, so that this is mitigating. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Okay, that's the first one. Why are this still rainbows, bro? Is this game fucked? This was actually kind of easy. Once I understood the problem. It, uh, I don't think so. 
You know what the weird thing is? You know the you know when I made those save files a while ago? Um the date on it says January 2nd, which is kind of strange. Oh, I didn't do any of this shit. I guess I should do Squid's Dream now. I don't know what to prioritize anymore. Because I can't afford kelp. I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't have enough spatulas for kelp, so... I guess just get enough spatulas. Well, I should probably do Sand Mountain, right? That's probably, like, the next big one. I, if anything, I probably shouldn't even be doing Squid's Dream. I should probably be doing Sand Mountain, but I'll do Squid's Dream first. Perhaps. <laughs> Well, it's basically Kelp and Dutchman, I think, are the big ones. Everything else is, like, pretty much fine, I think. For heaven's sake. Well, I don't want to do casual Dutchman, but I will have to pay for the clam and all that shit, so yeah. I got to spend a lot on shinies, which means a lot of grinding. But I want to do that shit, like, last for the, the you know, the crab spits. Also, when I get 75 spats, I'm going to do phase 1, but not phase 2 of Rubber Sponge. Okay, so all I'm missing is the two in Sandy's dream. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, Sam Allen. Dropped 782 frames. I don't know if that was recent or not. Stand so basically, I have no fucking idea. Like a mouse. I'm not fucking- yeah, I'm, I'm not fucking around a semi on anymore, I'm just gonna fucking... Let me tell you though, I really don't want to do Sandman. Like, holy shit. Hold on. Not. Not in the slightest, thank you for asking. I don't even know where, like, all the socks are and, uh, whichever one has the fucking Sandman. Dude, I think there's two where, like, you literally have to do them in, uh... I think you literally have to do them in... Yeah, the, 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 yeah, unless you use, like, Sandy, I think, like, you have to do them in two separate trips, which is really fucking stupid. I, I don't know. The, the funny thing is, as well, is on Larry's side, there's, like, hardly any obstacles. There's, there's practically no obstacles. What were they on, bro? Dude, it, it didn't even look like it rolled down. It looked like it just fucking leaped. This 
my last attempt, Lato. Genuinely, probably ever, because Swingers is that bad. Um. In a breath. I think Bubble Body Slide is really bad. So I should probably do it now. I don't know why I did Guppy first, I probably shouldn't have. Is this one with the same man? Yeah, it is. Oh god, I don't want to do it. He teleports you? You motherfucker. Oh wait, wait, I think you can- I think you can do the- I think there's a trick you can do here, though. So I should be okay, I think. So if you could get out of the way, please. Can you- can you get out of the way? There's no fucking way, bro. There's no way you're- Oh my god. Is there anywhere else I can cruise boost? Wait, was there a strat here? I swear to god there was a strat here that we used to do. To get- to be able to do the thing with Sandy. I might just be able to do slide jumps. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Like, I swear there's a way to do this with Sandy, like with the time challenge active. Um, but you can't do the same shit with Larry that you could do before. I'm slicking back. Was this something like that? No. Okay, well that works. No, it doesn't fucking work. God damn it. Alright, I guess I'm just doing two trips. I don't even know where all the fucking Sandmen are, I'm not gonna lie. I think this shit's gonna be horrible. I know there's one over there to the right. Okay, I don't even know what the next one is. I was the first person, and yeah, I did get a cash reward. I got $50. I don't even know what the hand trick is out, so I don't even know if I can just, like... I'm not gonna risk it. Thank you, Shadow. Yeah, it's like forty-two dollars or something like I mean forty-two quid or something. Something like that. This sock is like so bad by the way. You you have to do two trips down the slide at least. And it's a lot easier with Sandy as well, which is like even more annoying because you can't do the time challenge. Oh, I should have grabbed the sock from Larry's and then done this, I just realized. It's too late now, the Sandman, uh, don't save on reload. Just like, uh, just like an extra I can think of in movie. I'm actually... I should have probably done... Can I go back? Hmm, how's this gonna work? Oh, I can't, you're right. Fuck. I'm gonna have to come down here again as Sandy anyway, but then again, I need to do Sandman regardless, so it's probably fine. Now... How can Sandy fit with this? I don't think there's any cheesing I can do here. Yeah, I think I just gotta do it.
Ah, oh, causes a fucking Tata robot, bro. Nice, 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 nice. It wasn't even the fucking suck, it was the fucking... I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what hit me. An enemy, I don't know. I don't know what hit me. Well, stream ended at about a normal time. Also, I, I just ripped some- I just downloaded some random gameplay off YouTube. Yeah, so... I don't know if I'll ever do this again, to be honest, because this shit is just, like, painful. It's probably not too far away in difficulty compared to, like... Movie No Post Storage. Or, n Movie No NMG. Like, the, like when you go for 100% in this game. So... Let's just, uh, remove a... Emote from the wheel, uh, via the wheel again, and then I'll scram, I suppose. Alright. Uh, Eto Um, should I try the KSI Prime, actually? Damn awake. I'll try KSI Prime, I think. I'll be right back. All right. ASI Prime. ASI Prime. Are you ready? Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like lilt or something. Yeah, it smells like lilt. So this is mango flavor, if I didn't mention that. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, that's really good. It's got like a background taste. That isn't as good. Lilt. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, uh, this is quite good. Again, his background taste isn't as good. Yeah, I guess it's a UK drink or something. Um, it definitely tastes like mango, though. It is good. It's just the background's a tiny bit weird. I don't know how good it'd be to drink with food, either. Okay, I think I would rank this just behind this one. So now the ranking is this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I, I think. Basically, it's pretty good. All right, I'm going offline now. Bye-bye.